from Siwa. I thought Magi was supposed to protect the Pharaoh. I am Magi to no Pharaoh. You I... see this? I can read my own name, Nat! We will find you. We will find you in your sleep! Sleep. I never sleep. I just wait in the shadows and I will kill you all. Everyone who sniffed the air that day in Siwa! I see you have made new friends. They were setting up an ambush. It's a good thing I came to welcome you, huh? Ah! <laughs> it's been months. Look at that beard, huh? It's been nearly a year, my friend. Feels good to get out and fight. I am out of practice. In Siwa, everyone differs to the soldiers on pain of death. Or worse. I've killed one of the mask ones. The Heron. Four more. Mm. Come. It has been a long road. You need rest? Ah, no. No rest. Not until all the masked ones' guts lie baking in the sand. <laughs> but I have missed you. Welcome home, Bayek. See who has missed you. Rest, my friend. It has been a difficult day. I have no interest in rest. I must prepare for this man. Hetzibah! Hetzibah! Once again, the soldiers! Hayek! Rabia! Hey, my Rabia! I have worried about you. Ah, you know me, eh? <laughs> you should be worried. Ah. Look at you. Cuts? Contusions? I'm, I'm fine. Hey, sit! Hmm? Sit! Sit. I'll take care of it. Uh, you haven't changed. You and I, uh, I've always patched you two up. Made excuses to your parents. <laughs> Times have changed. But you, I can count on. Slumbering Osiris. <laughs> I thought you would never wake up. Ah, Rabia patched me up and I just... I let you sleep. You need to be alert to tangle with Medunumun. In fact, my friend... A new bow? See if you like it. Good. Hetzibah! What is it? Soldiers are coming for you! Go. Come. Exult and no one gets out of the house alive. Hepsiva! We're just here to talk! No Mark Rujek's been killed! Your friend, the Magi, may have been involved! Come out! If you wish to clear his name!
All the problems of Siwa are here. I try to help everyone, but it is more than I can do. So you are telling me you do not have the powers of a god? <laughs> but the real problem is that man you want to kill. Majunumon. The people were hopeful when he first arrived. Surely things would improve. We soon learn the truth, actually. I fear for the safety of your family, priest. I will move them to a more secure area. That is the man you're up against. I will find him and kill him. Ejunaman is a lot more powerful than he looks. And he is surrounded by the finest soldiers. I do not care. You'll be killed. You need to get tougher if you want to murder that spindly shit. For sure, you need better armor. Oh, I can make that myself. Weapons are more difficult. The soldiers took everything in the village. I will talk to the blacksmith. Yes, Benny Pei can certainly make something for you. Or Senu can help you find what you need. Senu? Senu is alive. Look who is coming. Senu, old girl. In fine form. Rabia has nursed her to help. I must thank her. The people are desperate for your help, Bayek. They'll help you if you help them. I understand. What happened to your blacksmith shop? Those naked yadat soldiers. Ptolemy's captain saw me making a sword and accused me of being a rebel. He was not wrong. They confiscated my tools. Ah, bastards. All of Siwa needs a blacksmith. Even me. I cannot help you, Bayek. Not until I get my hammer and tongs back. And I have to get that ugly-ass Apap captain off my ass. Is this captain with the tools somewhere I can find him? At the foot of the hills west of here. Camp Shetje. I will get those tools back. And I will take care of the captain. Here are your tools. That captain won't ever come back here. At last I can reopen my shop. Many thanks. My pleasure. I found these weapons I had hidden from the soldiers. Please, choose one for yourself. Your wrong. I die, my work unfinished. So close, so very close to ushering in the perpetual rule of the strong and virtuous. What you? What will you give us the power of the gods? What is one boy? What is one boy? Papa? One more, one more. Okay. Hey! Well, I can try. This way, I'll get two. <laughs> sure. Well... Up. Strong. Ready? Yes. <laughs> oh! You made me miss, you. <laughs> Remu, come here. I found a Haney cave. A real one? Yes. Ah, go ahead. You're gonna love it. There's like 16 hyenas, and they're so dark and scary. But you know what? Uh, I'd rather go hunt with my papa. You always get too scared. Hey. Hey, hey. Let's go on a real hunt. Huh? All right. <laughs> come, come. What, what did your father say? Jump.
Don't think so long. Jump. Yes, Papa. Hey, trust me, you can. I do. I will. Uh, jump then. Come back. You're not ready. I can do it, Papa. I can. Ah! Shut up, you filthy little shit. Help! Help me! That's Chandra. I said shut up. Run home to your mother. Chenzera will be fine. I will take care of it. Magi Bayek! Go. Now. I'm scared. I don't want to go home alone. Oh, Emu, just do what I say. Please. Go! Magi Bayek! I'm indeed Magi here. Who summons me? Sheath your weapon and follow me. Make a sound and you're dead. What took you so long? Didn't want to be seen, sir. Kept to the shadows. We are pleased you have joined us, Medjai. It is of great importance that we gain access to the vault. The temple priests stubbornly refuse to assist us. You are perhaps hey, hey. reluctant out of I loyalty just to the to Oracle. Ask him a we have someone to help convince you otherwise. Quiet. See that no one comes in. Are you hot? Go ahead. Try it your way. I'll leave my son out of there! Your son has something to explain to you. Would the Ibis show him the orb? We believe we need this to enter the vault. There, there, there. This is a waste of time! The boy is frightened. It's all right. Papa, they need you to tell them about the vault. They need to know how to use this. As measure, you must have some clue to your legend that explains its use. I don't know anything about this vault! Please leave my son out of my this! Lord. The Pharaoh has been aroused! He insists He will be discovered! Here. Quickly! Talk to your son. If the vault isn't open when we return, you'll never see him again. Hey. It's all right, son. No? Papa, I can get it to you. But no! Come on, don't! They're going to hurt us. Come on, Come on. This foolish waste of time! Come on, come on. Come on. Out of time! Tell us! Oh, I, I, I don't know. We must go now. I will cut the heart from the boy. No, no, wait, 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 wait. He Stop. will never know the afterlife. Uh. No, 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 I, I will tell you. I will tell you. Stop. I will tell you. No, no, no. Stop. 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 Ah! 
kill you! We thought you were dead. You could not even save your own son. You are no one. By yak of nothing, father to nobody! <laughs> And here is your nobody! May the Hidden One greet you. The Lord of the Duat awaits. Well done, my friend. Our hero returns. You brought joy to Siva. I should get to Alexandria. I need to see Aya. Don't be in too much of a hurry. Siwa will always need its Magi. But you are the protector here now. I'm always pleased to help. Come see me when you are certain you are ready to go. We will drink beers to our friendship, huh? <laughs> I must leave Siwa. There are others to whom I must deliver justice. Especially the one known as the Snake. How will you find these men? Aya has been tracking them in Alexandria. I must find her. She said she would be visiting her cousin at the Great Library. Great Library? And she said if you are coming to tell you one word. Serapis. Serapis? The god that Greeks and Egyptians share. Of course, I see. And bike, do something about that beard. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Oh shit! Layla, you need a refill on Cyclosporin. Stat. Layla, wakey wakey! <sighs> Don't make me come down there. Layla? Layla? <coughs> come on back. Layla, are you with me? Hepipti. I told you not to call me that. The thing is, the fastest way to get your attention is to piss you off. I'm paying attention. Okay, you need to take a break. The Animus is rejecting you. <sighs> I'm fine. Yes, but your kidneys aren't. Go add more cyclosporin before they shut down. Yes, Nurse Geary. That's Medical Officer Geary to you. So? How did it go? My mods are holding. Subject's memories are perfectly clear. If this doesn't convince Abstergo to give me a place on the Animus Project, nothing will. Oh, amazing! Who do you have in there? His name is Bayek of Siwa. The death of his son turned him into a killer. Think you'd be of interest, Abstergo? Don't start. You know, they're not going to be happy with how he handled this assignment. They know I don't work by the book. Well, this time you lit the book on fire and then stomped on it. Anyway, none of this will matter if you're comatose. Now go get that cyclosporin. Got the cyclosporin. Two CC should do it. Don't forget the alcohol wipe. I wish I was there to help. You do a good job looking after me, even from the hotel. And I know how you like your aircon. Going back in. This is so badass. Be careful.
right? Set up this. Now what? Ah, where is Naya? Ah, set up this. I wrote a tragic comic pastoral epic centered on him. Ah. You're by, I guess. I as eager to see you. She said. Quickly, follow me. <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> Never again should we spend months apart. We only have each other. Without him, what? Let us be together. Us two. Each to each. I have news. You are scarred by justice. Ah. I bludgeoned Medunamun with this. I hate that we have to do these things. But I am grateful that you did. If I am honest, I took pleasure in it. Mm. I've missed your touch. I have missed touching you. <laughs> I killed as well. Acteon. I hunted him down and discovered a mask in his room. When he returned, I forced him to wear it. Then I thrust this knife through his eye slits. Aya. But I was careless. Another of the masked ones tracked me to my home. It was even more difficult. We have one more. Then, we will be done. Look at this. I took it from Acteon. Apollodorus tells me it is a papyrus from the Royal Council. Which means the snake is in Ptolemy's court. How does this Apollodorus know these things? He has informants everywhere. Because of his work with Cleopatra. But Cleopatra? She's been declared a criminal. By her treacherous brother, yes. She plans to take back the throne. She wants the snake dead as much as we do. And she trusts me. She gave me this to slit his throat. It's an ancient blade that killed the tyrant Xerxes. A weapon of justice. Genius. Ah. I will go to the palace and discover who uses the seal of the snake. And I will use this. Official papers. This just belongs to the royal scribe himself, Eudorus. False bottom. A letter. Esteemed Ibis, the Pharaoh remains compliant and is our puppet in all things. Act with caution in Siwa. The murder of the heron was but the first. Two from among us here in Alexandria have also been killed. However, the situation is under control. Canadios is actively questioning the populace. We commend your efforts, Ibis. Long life. Stamped to the seal of the snake. The snake is Eudorus, the royal scribe. Ah! 
will be done with it! May the gods curse you. What cause of you to kill me? It was you who murdered my son before my eyes! You are a fool. At the temple! In Siwa! That forsaken shithole? I had nothing to do with that disaster. It is too late for your lies. Anubis awaits. It is worth the loss to slay the snake at last. The snake? The snake will never die. Go! Son of Apep, the Lord of the Duat awaits. Why have you dragged me into the land of the dead? You sought to kill my wife! Your whore of a wife is a murderess, wafely and wantonly. I did my duty as a Philagetai, and for this you have taken my life. Is your vengeance above all, O Medjai? Be warned. The Philakis will hunt you down and exact revenge. May the Hidden One walk beside you. The Lord of the Duat awaits. My dearest. The snake and Gennadios are dead. Oh. It was Eudorus. He died flailing in the baths. I wish I had been there. Wondering if I should pull you out. Your adrenaline and BP are elevated, and it's affecting your heart rate and hormonal markings. Serotonin and oxytocin in particular. What happened in there? Aya's here. Who's Aya? My ex-wife. I can feel her nearby. You can feel her? Pretty sure that's the bleeding effect. Along with Bayek's memories, you're you're also experiencing his emotions. No, you dork. I think she's actually in this cave. Spouses usually share the same tomb. A second mummy? We should really report to Abstergo. Maybe after I find Aya. I I'm gonna call it in if you don't. Deanna, no! If you do their will, get no credit. They'll cut me out like always. <sighs> okay. I was right, she's here! Oh, there you are, thank God! I can almost taste the blood. Uh, uh, okay, you're making less and less sense, Leila. We need to report. Not yet. Not yet? So when? <sighs> Adding Aya's DNA to the chamber. It'll take time to sequence. You won't be able to sync with her memories right away. Layla, something else you should know. Since you're mixing gene sequences in an uncontrolled manner, the transition between memories will likely be unpredictable. I'm comfortable with unpredictability. Yeah? Well, I'm worried. You always are. I told 
issue. The Animus hasn't finished interpreting Ayat's DNA yet. Fine, fine. What is it? The snake. What if he was not the last? Of course he was the last. They are all dead. Justice is done. If there's any question, Apollodorus will know. He knows all. And where will I find this man who knows so much? He is with Cleopatra. But find his man first near the Hippodrome. Hey! <laughs> I'll tell Thanos that Gennadios is dead and meet you later. I am Baek. Aya sent me to speak to Apollodorus. Shh! I'm sure you can appreciate that my master takes precautions concerning those he meets. I have a question only he can answer. I will tell him you seek his counsel, and that Aya recommends you. Wait for tonight. If he sees fit to meet you, you will be found near the lighthouse then. Until then, the Hippodrome's commemorating one of its greatest racers. Plenty of drinking and festivities. Along with the races themselves, of course, if that appeals. Apollodorus. You there! Are you here to kill me or to be my friend? Friend. Bike of Siwa. Ah, then your help, please. You are I as Magi, huh? Any other survivors? Only Damastis. They took him prisoner. And the scroll? What of the scroll? Damastis had it. That ass Damastis should have destroyed it. Cleopatra owes you much. Can you get to a healer by yourself? I've killed you, Doros. Huh? Well done. He was the snake, yes? Man to man, Baek, there is much you have yet to understand. <laughs> Man to man, I need an answer. I must take the measure of you first. Rescue the masters and recover the scroll. And then I will know if you're the man that Aya claims you to be. Ah. Apollodorus sent me to help you. Give me the scroll. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Your job was to carry it. I hid it on our ship. I did not want it to fall into the wrong hands. Where is the ship? At the bottom of the lake. They sank it. Ah, very well. I will get it. Apollodorus is waiting for you at the lighthouse. I will tell him to find you near the sunken ship. Here's your precious papyrus. Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. She caught me with her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. Not all the way. She doesn't <laughs> hold the ground. Bees. Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xantivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In Mehoto Ek Nebsheven. My queen, this is a... Uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I have already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! <laughs> you were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasheremta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts then. 
We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Well, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region. But they have been unable to touch the Order. <clears throat> Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages, yet a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the Order of Ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself. The one called the Lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our sunshed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink. Celebrate. Make love. Tomorrow. Seek the master brewer, Akuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. Apollodorus sent me. Apollodorus, of course. He sent me for the scarab, the shadow that darkens size. Shh, please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. Apollodorus knows the people are suffering. In my position, many confide in me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. There are many terrible stories about this scarab. I am sure Apollodorus told you. Tales of mutilation, disappearances, and folk buried in the desert and left to die. A horrendous fate, trapped in the shimmering sand, your mind and body hounded by the remorseless sun. Waiting for the final release into the duat.
The last man who asked questions about the scarab was near beaten to death, with his tongue cut out. Hmm. Who was he? Paul Cooper, father-in-law to the most powerful man in the region, Tahaka. That boy, Kawab, is his grandson. Hey, you tired of winning? I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? No, he left on the road to Camp Piros. He should have been home by now. I'll see if I can find him along the road. Grandfather! Are you all right? Is he hurt? Banged up, bruised, and dusty. The soldiers did not take kindly to him, but he will be all right. Where's your father, Kawa? You must speak of this. Father is away, on his great work. Mother! Grandfather is hurt! Soldiers mistook him for a beggar again. Father! What have you done this time? He was searching for the scarab. I hope he can help me. And in return, I can protect your family. The scarab is nonsense. Everyone knows this. He wants you to read them. Uh, it looks like the scarab is summoning warriors to the city of Letopolis. By the gods! That is where my husband is. But the city swallowed by the desert. It is father's destiny to rebuild it. We're going to join him soon. Right, mother? Yes. My husband Tahaka has been slaving there for months. I'm sure he can help you. He knows everyone there. If you go, tell him I can't wait to see him. <laughs> yeah, of course I will go up. Bayek, what good fortune! I thought it would be years before we saw you again. Hail in peace, men ahead. How is your family? <laughs> the children seem to grow larger by the minute. My wife and I have our hands full. And you, is there any news of... None. I forget myself. There are so many things in your life best not spoken of. Forgive me. I see by your garb that you have been promoted. Ah, yes. The High Priest, in his grace, made me his second. And my rank is not the only thing he has changed. You must see the temple. You will give me a tour? Of course, of course. At the moment of your pleasure. Ready to see our beautiful temple? After you, Menehet. Or is it servant of the goddess? Menehet will do for one as good as family. by a gang of ruffians, huh? Silent as gifts. Uncle Bayek! Uncle Bayek! Hello, Uncle. Jewels of my life, why have you left your mother's side? Pick me up, Uncle Bayek! Ah, see now, there is no need to attack a man from behind when I'm numbering him four to one. Huh? You told us to secure every advantage possible over a dangerous foe. Yes, yes, yes. And I am very dangerous! <laughs> Hide well, for the wanderer stalks your pocket. Your brood is delivered safely home. Thank you, friend. Uh, what did that fool want with you? Some visitors, having purchased religious objects, are angry when our village has no more dead cats to sell them. Though not a merchant, I am often the means by which the aggrieved snuff their anger. This matter needs a firm hand. Oh. Greetings. I am... You have come to the right place, Neb. We have everything you could possibly want. What I want is to ask about false idols sold at the market. 
I have heard rumors of such, but there is nothing to them. Now leave if you want to avoid trouble. Tell me of the fake mummies being sold here. I have no desire to be dragged into this. Menahed sent me. Your silence is an insult to his holy office. Uh, I wish to anger neither him nor the gods. We are forced to sell items of lesser quality. Or see our stalls destroyed. Who is behind this? I can say no more now. Let us meet tonight, where the village turns to farmland. My friend, I am glad to see you have kept our appointment. Come, sit with me and share a drink of wine. I do not have time for that. <laughs> it is a beautiful night. Let us enjoy the coolness of the air for a moment before turning to business. Merchant, I am not here to take in the air. Who is behind the traffic of false icons? Well, you see, it is no simple story. There are many involved in this terrible affair, but they would all tell you the same thing. Pity the trusting man, for he suffers great pain. <laughs> A man who fights as well as you can perhaps afford to be trusting. Talk, or you will meet the same fate as your friends. That will not be necessary. Among the dunes, southeast of here, is the bandit camp where the fake mummies are made. I suppose you will go and destroy it now. Better I smash the camp than your head. How can I ease the burdens of an old friend? Tonight, we will stage a grand spectacle. Our goddess Sekhmet defends the people against Isfet's chaos. But Pamu, our champion, is nowhere to be found. The High Priest will judge me responsible for his absence. I'll have a look. Sekhmet bless you. His home is near the market, but check the tavern first. It pains me to ask you for a further favor. His passion for toasting Sekhmet has exceeded his head for drink. This is a disaster! People have come from the Red Land and the Black to see him fight! If a fight is all that is needed, I could replace him. Of course, Magi! You honor yourself in saving me from disgrace. Speak to the High Priest in the Temple Courtyard. He will take care of the rest. Your Holiness, I am here to fight for Sekhmet. You're not Pamu. He was meant to play Sekhmet. Pamu is... ill. He is recovering at the temple. Fine. Follow me. Should malice cling too strongly to your hearts, Isfet, the evil one, shall smite the goddess! And condemn Yamu to a hundred seasons of darkness. But should your hearts be pure, the goddess shall favor us, shielding us from the obscurity of chaos. I could swear you were the Blood Eater herself. Ah. Oh, the priest's recounting of the battle between the goddess and Isfet was <laughs> new to me. It is a tale of his own invention. You will not hear it outside Yamu. Would that you'd agree to stay with us longer. But I know that greater duties call you. I'll say goodbye to the children before I leave. Do so. They'll miss you. You are always welcome in Yamu whenever your journeys bring you to our gnome. You look like a strapping sword. Looking to improve your armor? Long night? Very. Sorry. What are you interested in? At the moment, I'm looking for Zervos. The harbor master? Of course. Uh, Zervos is... Uh, away. Away? Yes, uh, he's gone to Lutopolis, attracted by the promise of a new life. Then he is not dead. Dead? Why would you think he was dead? Good day for business? Not have bad. What are you looking for today? For Zervos, the harbor master. Do you know where to find him? You are looking for who? Why? I don't know him. 
I heard he was dead. Why are you bothering about him? He was a good man. A good man? So you do know him? I don't. I just heard others say it. Leave me be. I am just looking. You know about a man named Zervos? The harbor master? Huh. Why are you asking about him? I have heard he is missing. In hiding? Perhaps dead. What would you do if Sefetu put a price on your head? Ah, I see. I am not one of Sefetu's men. I don't know anything about it. I don't stick my neck out. I have nothing to tell you. We are not fighting men. You can take the bounty off my head. I am not one of Sefetu's men. I am searching for Zervos, on behalf of Hakuf. Good. I am Zervos, mighty harbor master of Saiz. <laughs> Forced to hide on my own docks. Why is Sefetu after you? That dog. He is strangling the whole town. Taxes us to death. He burned my cousin's farm. That's right! I've been doing what I can. Helping people hide their imports and exports. What Sefetu does not see, he cannot tax. And he figured it out. His men raided my business and my house. But I hid my records on my felucca. If they haven't found my boat yet, they soon will. I'll see what I can do. You have made things better here. You clearly have people who are willing to help you out, Zervos. Why don't you take on Sefetu? Sefetu is too powerful, too greedy. He knows there is no one strong enough to stop him. We are not fighting men. Sefetu surrounds himself with soldiers. His base at Fort Nikiyu is guarded with Baliste. Fool that I am, I helped him import them. May Amun watch over you. It is done. So many lives turned to ash. Is anyone left? We need to be quick. More will come. Did you hear that? Yes. Pentu! Oh, by the gods, you are still alive! I will not leave you here. Thank you for Pentu's life. I did nothing that you would not have done. He owes his life to you. This is not the end of it, however. No. Those dogs still hunt for the prick master. I will go to Hakuf. We must find a way to peel Sefetu out of his shell and deal with I him. I cannot bring your people back from Duat, but I will help you avenge your village. Tamun, are you all right? Thank happy, yes. What happened? I was bringing a delivery to Yamu when I was ambushed by these bastards. And? Yes. Okay, I stopped for a quick nap. But still, they drank or smashed all the beer and threatened to kill me if I did not brew more for them. Take the oxen back to size. You'll have to prepare a new delivery, I imagine. Try not to stop along the road this time. Master Tahaka. My name is Baek from Siwa. I am indeed Tahaka. Grand planner of Saiz and steward of Latopolis. I met your family. Your wife sent me here. She said you might know about the one called the Scarab. This is not the place to speak, for who knows who may overhear our words. Come inside and I will answer you. Your son is very proud of your work. He misses you. You'll be here soon. I dream of my son and his sons following in my steps. 
world is made by great men dreaming big. What do you dream of, Bayek? I do not have the luxury of dreams. Just finding the scarab. The scarab preys upon the weak. He is no threat to me. Are you not afraid of the scarab, Tahak? It seems after what he did to your father-in-law. What happens to poor Gupa tears me. Whatever my life's work, whatsoever I did to bring that down upon him, I beg the gods forgive. Master Tahaka! They're attacking the ruins again! Bayek, come fight with me. The wind rises, and the sand with it. Bayek, you fell upon them like Sobek's teeth! Bayek, ride with us! These desert dogs have crossed me for the last time. And with your fierce iron, I know we can end their threat. I understand your thirst for blood, Tahaka. But these bandits are not my concern. Tell me about this scarab before you ride. Is that not the badge of a Magi that you wear? These rivers are a threat to the good and innocent people of Latopolis. Come with me, Paik. And once we have returned these curs to the desert they so love, then... I will tell you the story you want to hear. All right. I will join your cause for today. My thanks to you, Bayek. Before you arrived, I thought my dream was doomed to die. You gave me the strength to hunt down these reavers. Who are they? Blood-fevered followers of Sekhmet, the Lady of Slaughter. They wish nothing more than chaos and ruin. Are they connected to the Scarab? <laughs> no. They think themselves lions, but they are no more than carrion eaters. And now they will feed the scavengers. I will bring this priest back to the city. Meet me at my house. We will dine, and I will tell you what you need to know. I'm glad you made it safely, Maharet. <laughs> yes, the gods blessed our passage. We saw vultures and a hyena and so much sun. <laughs> Enough sand to fill a lifetime. That is why we need so many to help us with our great work. And what do you promise them, Tahaka? A parcel of land with a house to call their own. They must only help reclaim it from the desert. That is all? Just dig up your house? It is no simple task. We must all pitch in to honor the gods. People know his vision is a true one. It is good to honor your father, Kawa. The savior of Lotopolis. Mm. Let us have some honey dates now. And... Are you all right, Bayer? stayed in the shadows. Welcome to Mered's wares, traveler. Well, what do you think? Junk. Be off then. Ah, uh, I haven't finished. Are you blind? I've nothing left to show you. But you've much to tell me about the hyena. 
Ah, funny. As it turns out, that happens to be the most expensive thing I'm offering. <laughs> funny indeed. Delivery upon payment. Do you have enough to barter with me? Here. Yeah. Your absurd fee. Now what can you tell me? The hyena is not her real name. <laughs> easy, easy. A poor attempt at humor, I'm afraid. Where can I find her? Her name is Khaliset. A favor. Some customers of mine took my horse after a dispute. Their camp lies in a quarry just south of here. Take my man, retrieve my horse, and I'll give you what you came for. Ah, how you find yourself in Apollodorus' company escapes me. You're back! Well, look at this! You failed to mention it was in the possession of bandits. It slipped my mind. Hmm, good. Stronger than mine. I thought you said it was yours. <laughs> yes, yes, of course it is. You've done good by me, my friend. Then you'll deliver as promised. My word is my word. But I have one more thing to ask of you. Ah, done with your games. All right. The hyena lives in a cavern just over those hills. Day and night she roams the desert collecting silica. Precious teardrops of the gods. What has happened to those who have interfered is best left unsaid. If I find you've led me on another futile chase, it won't be my words that hit your ears. A thousand promises. I have no reason to defy you. Oh. Mercy! Thank you, Magi! The hyena? Where is she? I do not know. I am... I'm the only one left. She took the others away hours ago. Took them where? She kills them! I know it! She... She... Her hands! Oh, gods! Her hands are so bloody! Peace, friend. You are free. I will deal with Haliset. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. Once she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Alicet must be trying to bring someone back to life. But just who is buried down here? Child. My child! You lost your child. I haven't. Her rest is temporary. You have intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the order. Damage this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. Now I will show you what happens to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb. Do I walk among the dead now? A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? These symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris, please grant me reunion. She walks alone in the field of reeds. Am I to remain in the two of I just want my daughter back! Please! 
Mia, let me help you with that. Oh, what? You think me helpless? I'm surprised to see a woman in your condition working so hard. The arrival of a child is a blessed event. Oh, I am no delicate lily. Oh, are you in pain? Ah, my little bean is just making herself known. My workers are so slow, I need to run over and check on them. Allow me, Nebet. What happened? The tunnel collapsed. Baba and Ipui are trapped inside. How can I help? Are you strong enough to clear the way? See if you can bring them out. Please, Neb. They are my brothers. Stay here. I will do what I can. Hey there. Are you hot? Ah, I twisted my ankle. My brother Baba was working further in. The tunnel collapsed. I don't know if he's alive. I will get you out first. Then find him. Careful. I think I heard a hissing sound nearby. Ipui! I will help him from here. You need to go back and find Baba. Hurry! He might be hurt or worse. Take care of him. I will find your last brother. Thank you, Neb. No. I managed to squeeze in there just before it collapsed. I had no idea this was here. We were digging to reach the river. That place was probably part of the old temple. Do you need help getting out of here? I am fine. I am going to meet with my brothers and take a break. What is this place? Oh. Chief Nito, the well tunnel partially collapsed, but I was able to help the workers. My little Bean and I are so fortunate you passed by when you did, Medjai. May the gods bless you a thousand times for your efforts. Take care of yourself. May the gods bless your little one. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome to Litopolis. I never forget a face, and I have not seen yours before. You found it! Your new home! A miracle of a man's labor. The great work begins! No, th that's not what... You just don't know it yet. We give every new arrival a house. Only dig it out and help with the public works. A fresh start. I'm not here to live in these tough sands. Speak to some of our new inhabitants. Let Nehi. He can tell you how liberating it is to leave the past behind. I cannot shed my past like a snake sheds his skin. Who's there? I'm armed. I will hurt you so much the gods will sing stories of how badly for ages. <laughs> Keep the peace, friend. I'm merely curious. There is little enough left of value. The jackals have already stripped the site clean. I read about an ancient battle between Mahes and Ochus and wondered if it was here. This was where Mahes fought and died at the hands of Bago as the eunuch and mentor the Rodian. You may have read my version of Ma'ani Jehuti. No? No matter. Do you know what became of Mahe's sword? The sword of Ptah, said to be sacred both to Sekhmet and Serket? No. But as I said, this place has long been plundered. The bandits stay north of here, so I stay far away. Thank you. I'll head north. By the gods! What am I to do? Peace, friend. What happened? The gods have cursed me. I lost my farm and my wife to my brother in Yamu, and now I've lost what little I owned. My cart got stuck in a ditch far from town. As night came on, I heard terrible roars, and I just left them. My poor oxen, everything I owned. Wh what am I to do? Roars? There are no large beasts in this region. I did not stay to find out. They were the last gift I got from my father, Kufu and Kiera. Uh, and I left them there with all I own. When I am out that way, I will see what I can find. For now, do what you can on your new house. My thanks. My house is to the right of the entrance to the temple. May you fly with the bright wings of Horus. Bayek! You found Kufu and Kiera. Today I cry tears of joy. Look how much you have done since I have been gone. I, I found something strange inside the house. It 
uh, arouses my curiosity and yet terrifies me. W will you look? Show me. As I dug out the main room, I found ominous writings on the wall. Old writings. I have no idea what they say, but it scares me in my bones. These are old, but incomplete. Too much is missing. Erased by time and sand. Do you... Do you think it's a curse? I will ask around town. All right. What should I do? I don't know if I c can sleep here. You will be fine. You should speak to Ramesu. He knows everyone in town and everything that happens here. I'm sure he does. I've seen that dour face before. You've come for your house. No, I... You would clear a house in no time. Enough. At Nehi's house, he showed me strange writings. Nothing to worry you, friend. Three others have said the same thing, but these signs are too old to be made sense of. I will check with them. You are wasting your time, but as you will. Yes? What can I help you with? Ramesu said you found strange hieroglyphs in your house. Yes. I thought they were kind of creepy. I think someone else may have found the same thing. May I look? Sure. Go on and take a look. Are you new here? Passing through, but looking into a mystery. Did you find ancient hieroglyphs in your house? Didn't everyone? Didn't worry me much. Why? Does it mean something? Not sure yet. May I look? Don't see why not. Tell me if I should worry. May I ask you something? Hmm? Yes, what? Nehi found a strange symbol in his house, like you. May I take a look? Certainly. He's new, yes? He'd be cute if he didn't look like he was always about to cry. Tell him I asked how he was. My name's Nebefa. Metopolis was sacrificed to the gods by the ancients, so the rest of the Nile could be granted to the realm of men. These priests made an invocation for protection to the one before whom evil trembles. In drinking their concoction, they gave their lives, as well as their city, to Sekhmet. Ah, oh, Bayek! I'm getting used to living with these symbols. Nebefe even came by for a meal. Did you find out anything? I did. Though I'm not sure you are going to like it. Uh, a curse! I knew it! No, not exactly. Letopolis was an offering to Sekhmet, to protect the rest of the Nile. We have offended the Lady of Slaughter? No wonder the sands always blow, she wants to reclaim the city! Uh, are the officials blind or mad? I can't stay here. Maybe Nebefe will come with me. What about you? My time here is but temporary. You were kind to me when others were not. Maybe we will see each other again in this world. So, this is how a dream dies. I could have built something to last an age. And Gupa could have sung stories of your accomplishments. There are things I regret! We all labor for higher powers! We are all enthroned to greater forces! There is no escape! I am but one in the order of ancients! This victory will bring you no peace! It is not peace that I seek. It is not for my soul that I walk this path. The Order of Ancients will remember me as the bringer of waters and a builder of cities! Oh, the desert will blow in and scatter the dream of Metropolis like dust.
Take care of him. Try to make him understand if you can. You have brought blood and death to my house. You are blind. But now you must open your eyes. Your husband was a scarab. He did this. Your father was tortured and scarred by this man. As were so many others. No! It is up to you to raise your boy into the light. Out of the blood and shadows of his father's legacy. I'm sorry, my son. <laughs> Just like the Battle of Salamis, Captain. I have you trapped. <laughs> Here comes Themistocles. And that is the game. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Foxy, that's why are we delivering all this treasure? We could retire to Lesbos with this amount of gold. <laughs> what say you, desert rat? If that chest doesn't make it to Pompeii, this ship won't either. We crawl through Hades to deliver it if we have to. Fair enough. Back to work, you slack black horse! Temestis! My trusted shield boy, get to it! Huh? We've been hired to bribe Pompey, to save a queen, and to win a kingdom. <laughs> the usual fare for us mercenaries, huh? Civil war in Egypt and a mercenary trireme comes to my aid. In the midst of war with Caesar, I find it odd. Who in Hades are you? Well, we could have let you die. Pompeius Magnus. Greetings and friendship from Queen Cleopatra. Cleopatra offers gold to win my favor once I've won Rome. Is that what friendship means to your queen? Whose face graces that coin? Do Roman women receive the same honor? An alliance with Cleopatra is a union of true power. She wants more than an ally. She seeks a king. Valuable friendship indeed. Agreed. My fleet will soon be ready for Egypt. Ah, we were told to expect you. You may enter. As so long as you Perhaps do not disturb we forgot the rites. some part of the ritual. I will vomit if I hear more. I have no doubt of this. If our child dies, I die. No, my lotus, do not speak like that. I must go to the seer's house. Just leave me be. Priest. Ah, ah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm. Uh... I have come to seek the lizard. Oh, the lizard! One more affliction for Memphis. The city withers in the darkness of a curse. Disease, 
pestilence, the poison stink of the air. The ape is ghoul sick and nearly unto death. Gods have abandoned us. The people look to me for guidance, but I am as lost as they. Bush! <laughs> How have we wronged you? Hush. Because that is even my own house, my wife Time Hotep has miscarried three times this year. She is with child again, but if, if she loses a fourth. <laughs> I will look into this curse. My wife's seer can help. His house is to the southwest. If the gods are responsible, I will kneel beside you as they strike us down. Grow, O oh light! Come forth, O oh light! <laughs> My child! Oh! You have come at last. Who is this man? He is the Deliverer. Many years I have waited for him. What? Quick! Help me dream my child away from death! Let us proceed with the ritual. So this, reveal yourself here today and answer me without falsehood. Let your eyes be opened. Devoid of moisture, come forth from the stream. So this, let their eyes be opened. Let your eyes be opened. What is this God's forsaken place? I must keep moving or be swallowed by the desert. is the soul eater. <laughs> oh, you doorkeepers who guard your portals, who swallow souls and who gulp down the corpses of the dead, What a journey I have made, the things I have seen. I am but one of you.
I have traveled through the tomb. Dark and lonely ground. I am here now. I have come. They are returned, safe from him, who would close their eyes in darkness. My child leaves. Praise to the gods. What do you see? Your enemy and hers are the same. Refuse. The temple food, he who prepares it, poisons your womb with flesh of the dead. Go and slay the poisoner and lift Memphis out of evil. Praise to him who will deliver us all. Aya! My love. Are you well? Uh, better for seeing your face. There is a strangeness in your eyes. What afflicts you? Dreams. Of our son. Bayek. The high priest's wife has been poisoned. Her seer claims that her poisoner is our enemy. The lizard? I believe so. The apis bull is also at the point of death. Let's go to the temple. We can speak more of your dreams on the way. This is a subtle way of poisoning an animal. My sisters, this is surely an accident. Uh, one, maybe. But not a bushel. We had to save Pantratis! Hey! <laughs> Who? Our brother! Bandits ripped him away from us as we walked in the market. They forced us to poison the god. They told us they were going to feed our brother to crocodiles in the sweet. We have not slept through the night since. I'm so sorry. We had no choice. We never... Something's wrong. These are not curses. The order is surely behind this. I prefer to spare my sisters the ugliest details of my story. Of course. The man who ordered my abduction is a priest of Anubis at the Great Temple. A priest in Pasharemta's circle. How can I find him? He wears a blue scarf and has a terrible cough. The lizard. He is marked. Are you hurt? Did they mistreat you? They kept me tied up, fed me little but crusts of bread fit for beggars. So? This is the lizard's work. And so I must stain my hands with another priest's blood. The order is everywhere. To protect Egypt, I would kill a thousand priests. You and I are pledged to violence, now and always. Shall we race, like we did in Siwa? Ah, only if you are ready to lose. Bold words. I will see you back them up. As they rule, the gods curse our land. Withholding the river's floods, but as the living goddess ascends the throne, the waters will rise again through me. 
Memphis shines as rubies set in gold. Through me, Egypt triumphs. I cannot lose them. They must know my voice is that of the goddess. My queen. The Apis bull persists in ailing. We have found the cause of his sickness. He was poisoned. Who did this? The twin priestesses. Have them boiled to death inside a bronze bull. Goddess, no. They were coerced. Their brother was kidnapped by a priest of Anubis with a blue scarf and a cough. Hetepi? But he is amongst my closest advisors. Those living in one's shadow are the least worthy of trust. If even Hetepi is against me. Your wife and child were threatened by him. But now they are safe. We can overcome this. The priests of Anubis will be conducting rites in the great temple. Look for their masks. My blade will serve as well as his. Uh, no, I... Uh, let's me. I care not who kills the priest. Let it be done before we head to Heraklion in the north. Wait. Tanun the father breathes strength into your arm. Memphis. I serve the ways of old Egypt. <coughs> old Egypt asks a heavy price. Innocents, mutilated. Children ripped from the womb. The high priest's name abused. His name was Muck before you arrived. The masses are the cattle of the gods. Driven by the herdsman's whip. You are one of them, by it. You are a cow! It is will that drives me. Not fear. Oh yes? And who passes the whip over your back? Who demands that you stay in your car with my death? I have my gods. Now face yours. My queen, they acted only to lift a threat on their brother's life. Curses will trouble you no more. Hetep. What could have driven him to such madness? Memphis is yours again. Ours. Dark matter settled, we can finally prepare for the festival of Apis. May demons feast on Hetepi's car. And may those guilty of Kremo's death soon follow.
Oh. It is agony to leave you, but I must go on alone. Aya! I will stand by my duty. Where will your duty take you? North. To set the sea aflame. I walk on your water. I hope we will hunt together again soon. Until then, let us take this night as ours. Weep. Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Hmm. She has found a ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue faience? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. I am ready to speak of my dream. Of course, Deliverer. But first, you must help me. How? I have visions of danger. A dark cloud looms over three heads. An adventurer, a philanderer, and a beggar are all at risk. What would I do for them? Give each an amulet to guard against the darkness. One may be found near the great temple. One in its eastern district, and one in the tunnels that wind below it. I'll wait for you by the docks at the basin of the great temple. You are quite the fighter. I do my best. They caught me off guard the first time. The seer offers this amulet to keep you from further harm. My children cannot eat a stone. I cannot do more for you than this. May your luck change course. Pardon my rudeness. You have already risked yourself to save me. As long as I am alive, my family still has a chance. Have you delivered the amulets? Yes. One arrived too late to protect its bearer. Which? The adventurer. He met a lonely end, bitten by a snake. This is sad news. All the same, I consider your debt paid. A sacred island lies farther in the embrace of Mother Nile. Bring me there. And I will tear aside the curtain that shrouds your nightmares. Deliverer, would you be free of the curse that plagues your sleep? There is a ritual that will banish it from your mind forever. Yes. Do it then. Go beneath the waters south of here. And bring up the statue of Gnom from the sunken temple of Ramses. With this likeness of the great potter to hand, the ritual can be performed. Here is the statue. Hnum, sculptor of children. He will battle Apep in your place. This ritual needs your mind's strength. Sit by my side and meditate as I speak with the gods. Hail, pure one. May your heart be joyful, Magi. Joy is scarce while Memphis chokes on the scent of the grave. I am here to discuss Pasharemta's complaint on the informant table. Indeed. We seek a capable person to investigate this tomb. Most are too fearful of the demons within to enter. But demons would fear a priest. Why not investigate yourself? I am a vessel of the gods. I contribute through prayer. Mm, then I will face the demons. Pray that your faith shields me. Ta grants you safety. May Osiris shield your loved one's journey. I do not need your services. I'm here to inspect the temple. You are no priest. 
In whose name do you dare profane our grounds? In the High Priest's name. Prove this by messenger if you wish. Ah, yes. Poor Pasheremta. The curse weighs heavy on us all. I have had two embalmers run off since it began. Her only untrained laborers are free to take their place. Such coarse fellows. I hope to discharge them soon. I look forward to meeting them. These bodies are dried with natron? Hmm. Who might you be? A temple inspector. Right. About time you got here. Memphis has been stinking of rot for months. I suspect a problem with the natron. Where does it come from? Not far from here. Guarded by good men near the canal. Watch out for crocodiles. And lizards. Did you say lizard? It means something to you. Uh, I've heard it whispered in taverns. Rumors only. If you have nothing of substance to offer, I will be leaving. Wait. I can tell you this. Our natron is tainted. It is mixed with sand. Go to the warehouse just north of the great temple. The gods be with you. Only the guilty aim to disgrace the innocent. May the gods be kind. Ah. Salt is cheap. There must be more than gold to your crime. Gold had nothing to do with it. A priest in a blue sash brought my orders. He did this to me. He threatened to do the same to my daughter. I brought foulness on this city only to protect her. I swear it. Please. Help me, and I will end this. Here. I kept it. Take it. I'll send this writer to the devourer. The palace grounds are choked with Sobek's dead. Did you see? In the pool, human body parts used to lure the crocodiles. Oh, what horror! But why? Oh, who knows why evildoers do evil? I came just in time to see two people loading bodies onto boats and riding away. I will put a stop to this mischief. Of course you will. And as your loyal companion, I will point you toward the mischief makers. One went toward the palace and the other was headed for the mummification temple. Here is half my pay, as promised. Hello, friend. Bread for your sweetheart? No, thank you. Why do you speak a curse under your breath? The magician who sold it to me said I must recite it 200 times a day. Since I cannot recite while I sleep, I do it while I work. Though it is hard to get any baking done without my taster. What happened to your tester? Gods bless the regime. They arrested him for not paying the tax on spices. And now I am out of cinnamon. Looks like you need more than a magician. This man has something to tell you. Well? Teta, I love you. What? And I uncovered a plot to poison the Lady Timehotep, beloved of the High Priest. What? What? Lady Timehotep loves our cakes and bread. For five years, we have delivered them to the Great Temple. But yesterday, I overheard the guard say that this week's cakes had been poisoned. Have they been delivered? I... I don't know. They'd be in the garrison if not. Then I will have to move quickly. But I found what you need, Timehotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. Then let us ride to the pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. Every morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing. A living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me, for I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. God, thank you. Did Hotefre send you? No, but I must find him. 
I need his help to find the crocodile. Will you help me? Hotefres took a trader ship to Lake Moeris. It has a large statue on board and is marked by our symbol. The crocodile has hired mercenaries to find him. Then I must hurry. Get somewhere safe. Be well. So, now they send the son of Egypt against me. It has been a long time since I spilled so much blood. I was sent by Apollodorus. We share a common interest. Who are you? And what do you want, eh? I'm Bayek of Siwa. And I seek information on the crocodile. The phantom that has brought Fayum to its knees. What could you want with him? He belongs to a group that is destroying Egypt. I intend to hunt every last one of them down. Bayek of Siwa. You don't know what you are up against. The crocodile has transformed not only the land, but the people. Those who do not cower in fear are made to work for him. And you have no idea who the crocodile is? I stole a ledger from a Greek magistrate I suspect of corruption. It should reveal the identity of this crocodile. And if we get it to Apollodorus, we may be able to bring down the whole organization. Where's the ledger now? I gave it to my wife Henut to hide. As long as the Ptolemies think it's with me, my family is safe. That is why I have to stay on the move. Here. This will tell Henut you are a friend to be trusted. It is for my daughter, Shadia. Once you have the ledger, find me at the docks south of Euhemeria. What are you doing? A mysterious plague has struck the poor in Euhemeria. Their bodies are being burned, cursing their souls for eternity. They will never reach the field of reeds. I am trying to find a cure for them. There is always a cure. I just need the right combination. Burning the dead? What madness is this? Who is this shrine dedicated to? I am praying for the people killed by fires in Dionysius. Someone is burning down their farms. You, Magi, could help to stop it. I will try to help. Henut? Yes? Hotefre sent me. I am here to help. And I have your daughter's doll. Great. I was awaiting word from my man. Thank you. Come, eat and we can talk. My new doll, Bayek. I will name her Iset, and she will be the protector of all Fayum. Ever since Hotefles got a hold of that ledger, Fayum has been on edge. Soldiers with torches patrol every night, and this aunt's kitchen was practically razed to the ground. They have left Shadia and me alone at least. Hotefles has made sure of that. Where is the ledger now? I instructed our most loyal servant to hide it in our villa. They can search the place as many times as they want. They will never find it. Can you take me there? I have been summoned to the lighthouse for another of their routine investigations. Ah, that may not be safe. The Ptolemaic authorities seem to be working with the crocodile. It happens every few days. Don't worry. They wouldn't dare touch someone in an official position. Shadia. Show Bayek the way to our home. I come up here a lot. Everything looks so beautiful. The people should be happy, but they are not. Don't worry. Your mother and father will look after them. Where is your house? On the hill there. See it? Yes. And soldiers. Have you seen Helmut? Is she here? The soldiers just came and took her to the lighthouse. Young Shadia too. Hanot argued with them, but they would not listen. Something is wrong, isn't it? This has never happened before. Get word to Hotefres. Hurry! Shadia. Shadia. <laughs>
It is over. The crocodile has won. The ledger lost. My daughter. My Shadia. He has taken everything from us. He will pay for this. And all those who serve him. None of that will bring Shadia back. No. But at least you'll have the comfort of revenge. We both will. I hope so. I will do anything I can to help you, brother. Has he not been able to tell you anything? Only that there were other men with the soldiers. Large, imposing warriors. One red-haired. Bandits? Soldiers? I believe they were gladiators. From the arena in Crocodilopolis. It seems this... This monster uses fighters to do his bidding. I will find this monster, friend. He will die. Did you bring me here to get rid of these bandits? Sure did. I'm extremely smart. Everyone says so. How did a smart boy like you get tricked into working for bandits? I don't work for them. This mean old lady locked up a bunch of us kids. She makes us steal for her. Locked up? Yeah. My sister was going to save us. And she said to meet her in the shipyard by the river. But she never came. Will you look for her? I'll steal you an apple. <laughs> hey, you don't need to buy my help. It is yours for free. What is your sister's name? Kawit. And mine's Ifri. If you find Kawit, tell her I'm mad at her. By the limbs of Osiris! You are a cruel man! What happened with the girl? I looked at her twice. The second time, she was stealing my biggest jar of oil. She vanished like a demon in daylight. When I came back, ruffians were destroying my stock! Made a lot of you sink to the bottom of the Nile. Gawit stole an oil jar from that oaf of a merchant, then hid until nightfall. Under cover of darkness, she spread oil on the ship and set it aflame. The blaze spread to the whole vessel. While the ship burned, Gawit freed the children held on the docks, but the bandits must have caught her. Whoever owns this ship, was responsible for the kidnappings. Your brother sent me here. Where is Kawit? They took her and everyone else to a house in the city. Some rich lady named Gaia owns it. It's by the temple of Hafor. Will you save my family? By the mother goddess, I will. <coughs> Live forever. Did Nessem knew? No, young Ifli did. Where is he? What do you mean? I followed you the whole way. Take Matia home. Go. Hey, why don't you go with them? I'm going to track down that Roman bitch who did this to my family. If you want to help me kill her, meet me at the house of Neff. Uh, this place was a beginning for me and an end for Rujek. The arrow marked both of those things. After I stabbed that bastard, things went dark. When I came back to myself, Rujek was dead. Rujek's body should have been left to rot. He has been laid to rest with respect by someone who wanted him to enter the Duat prepared. Whoever buried him also left this heron mummy to honor Rujek with his god's damned namesake in the afterlife. They then returned here to pay respect to Rujek. If the
these candles are any indication. No matter what, I know Rujek's heart was found lacking. That bastard suffers in the afterlife, no matter what was done here. You are either very brave or very foolish, setting foot back here. Nefertari, isn't it? Like a thousand blessings are long overdue. Bastard! Naked ear that! That was Rujek's wife. Did you expect anything less? This way, Bayek. And bring along your thousand blessings. You will need them. Netron has other uses, though. I could use it to disinfect a wound. Or wash the stains of blood off my hands, for example. It looks better, Neb. I will have one of my aides bring something for the pain. And my brother? Recovering. He needs rest. You do not need to remind me. I'll ignite the torches and end this curse, or omen, or whatever it is. You would do well, too, if you ever hope to appease Anubis and gain my pardon. Sophia, give some frankincense to the men at the pool, would you? I don't need to tell you to be careful. There are three shrines, one to the south, one atop the natural well, and one inside the bent pyramid. You know your way to that one. Jumps. <sighs> this should do it. All I need to do now is light it. What news do you bring? The torches burn with a relentless flame. Then I pray Anubis will grant us pardon. There were charms left beside each one. Does that mean anything to you? Beside the torches? Most likely to ward off the omen. I will keep my eyes open. In the meantime, some rebels nearby need treatment. I normally make the trips, but I am needed here. Sufia has offered to go in my place, but only if you escort her. It will be done. Bayek, I hope this hunt of yours ends soon, before you cannot return from what you have become. You are Bayek Asiwa, aren't you? I've heard stories of the Medjai who crossed the desert. I am Theodorus, one of many who rebel against the Falakitai. Is that what landed you in this cage? Yes, a failed attack. I am hunting Daratos, a ruthless general of Ptolemy with a hatred for Egyptians. A killer of mothers, and fathers, and children. I won't rest until his body is food for the worms. Would you lend your sword? Gladly. Your plight is true. Good joy. We will regroup with my men in Bacchus. Come along. Daratos is gone. Neck, he continues to elude me. What should we do? Let's be smart. We have an opportunity to claim two victories with one swift strike. We need to wait for Doratos to return to camp. I've learned his personal scribe has stayed behind in Karanis. We'll be targeted if we so much as take a piece nearby. You are unknown to them. Bring the scribe to us. He'll tell us what we need to know. How do I find him? At night, he rests within the courtyard. During the day, you can find him working around the temple or at the terrace overlooking the lake. He dresses elegantly. And due to our failed attack, now has guards in tow. He'll be hard to miss. That is him. Well done. We will find out what he knows. In the meantime, we must prepare our attack. Some of our brothers are stationed just west of Soknopayo. Meet with them and wait for my arrival. We will put an end to that Nekotiodet. Are you the Philakitai? Yes. Try not to trample the scene. My job is hard enough as it is. Oh, my apologies. As a protector, I am attracted to such sins. A fellow protector? Ah, yes, I see your badge. You are a Magi. From the old kingdom. Wow. Forgive me. This gruesome business has us all on edge. Huh? This is the latest in a series of chilling ritual murders by uh, wadjet cultists. 
To be honest, I'm a little out of my depth. I may be of some use to you. I am not unfamiliar with murder scenes. Philakitai! I found the cultist's message. They're going to kill your high priest next. The high priest? By Serapis, no. Karani's spirit will die if he does. We need to find him. Where is he? Think, Velakatai! His villa is nearby. I know of a spot overlooking it from a safe distance. This way. They were going to sacrifice me. You are safe now. It is fortunate you are not at the temple. You would already be dead. Serapis! They would have butchered me! These Egyptians are prayerless demons and not men! It was an Egyptian who saved you, priest. Remember that when you pray and give thanks. We Medjai protect all, regardless of their class. I came as soon as the fighting began. I see I am too late. Thank you for your help, Medjai. It certainly made my work here easier. You have interesting timing. What do you know of these bandits? Egyptians unhappy with the Greeks here. Who knows what holes they crawl from? Seeing a Greek god in place of their own incensed them, no doubt. Understandably. You've not seen the last of such trouble, I think. The Ptolemies tend to divide us at times. Sadly, I agree. Greece has brought Egypt much wealth, yet some resist all progress. This depends on your idea of progress. Progress for Egypt or for Greece. Farewell, Philakitai. Next time you protect, remember my cord. I saw you with the Philakitai of Karanis. Are you a protector? I am. Is there something wrong? Please, we need your help. Yesterday, my husband witnessed something frightening. Soldiers dragged a poor man beneath the temple. Then he heard screams. We're already hungry because there's no grain. Now I'm terrified the soldiers will take my husband. We don't know who we can trust. Not even the Philakitai. Let me talk to your husband. Where can I find him? He's a stone mason working near the temple. Please be careful. The soldiers mustn't see you talk to him. Stone mason, your wife has been to see me. Shh! How did you get up here? By a moon, that woman interferes. I told her. What can we do? Just act normal. Yeah, that's it. Stay normal. Calm yourself. She said you saw soldiers take someone below the temple. Yes. No! Yes. Okay, it's true. It wasn't the first time, but yesterday was different. There were screams that would wake the gods themselves. So many screams! Now please, just leave me alone before someone sees you. Just act normal. <laughs> Ah, here's the Vlaka who's been messing with my business. We were just discussing you. You've been stealing grain from Fayum, starving people for profit. You're not from Fayum, are you? Your speech reeks of the countryside. That grain belongs on Egyptian tables. You naive backwater Malakia. I take orders from above. If not me, someone else will do this. This is business. People pay what they owe, or I take it. It's not personal. I'll give you a choice now. Leave me alone and live, or die here. Others thought the way that you do. Then they murdered my son. Everything is personal. You filthy Nekatiadet! What, Gus? What are you talking about? Greeks and Egyptians have lost harmony with each other. The g gods are displeased because of it. I'm Nanefer, and I don't know if I'm g g g Greek or Egyptian. I'm an orphan. Lost harmony? What do you mean? The Egyptian g g goddess Wajed is sending snakes into g g Greek quarters at night. Only g g Greeks have been killed. We are out of b b b balance. See for yourself. Just n n north of the villa. Okay. I will look into this curse. Another foreigner cursed by Wajet. That is three this week. 
Those useless Greeks had it coming, if you ask me. But what do I know? I am just the lowly Egyptian caretaker who cleans up after the naked Yadit. Hey, be careful what you say. People have died. I need to look around. What you need to look at is the color of your skin, son. Harmony is what we need, not more senseless judgment. Look, some of us have built a shrine in a cave under what is left of the great temple. Why don't you come and honor Wajet with us? Egyptians have to stick together. Maybe I will, after I look around. Can you walk? They beat me. They beat me because they thought I'm Greek. Wait, what happened to your stutter? I was scared when I first met you. It makes me stutter. By the gods, is nothing true. Well, you are alive, Nanifer. Be thankful. I'm alive, but Egypt is out of balance. You must know, Magi, the law is harmony between all peoples. May Serapis unite us all. Good to see you, Namrud. Nefertari sent reinforcements, I see. His name is Bayek, a dear friend of Nefertari's. I've asked him to come along and he graciously accepted. I suppose we all do. I hear you are in some trouble. I owe a favor to Nefertari. If it's as you say, follow me and stay close. We've got quite a journey ahead. Their wounds are severe, but they'll live if Sufia is anything like Nefertari. You and Nefertari are old friends. Something like that. She saved my life after I killed Rujek. You are the one that killed Rujek, huh? I cannot believe it. By the gods, the brazier! The fire will alert the regime! Spread out! They have found us! Talk! The omens! It was you! Why? You check! I loved him! He promised me a better life! You took him from me! Now I see. You're Rujek's mistress. Well, your fucking lover killed my son! I feel nothing for you! You are meant to die! Ah! What a shame. Such a pretty girl. There's no room for pretty in our war. Death drives us to do things we regret. She tricked us both. Your men? The pile of dead gets bigger. We will treat the survivors. No time to fetch another healer. Hey, why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on, lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel, even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. Lord of Waters, Tell me about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. By the gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. This is awful! No wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you have been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easier if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. I do what I can to help. I have seen your kitchen merchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. Now, you're trespassing, and I have the right to protect myself. 
Man! I see you bear the markings of old Siwa. Is that a real Magi badge? How much would you sell it for? Siwa is my homeland, and it is not for sale. Everything is for sale here. You should visit Valley Market to the east. They have Siwan treasures, not the normal fake stuff. These are real. I would be interested to meet anyone selling genuine Siwan treasures. Are you sure you do not want to sell that badge? No matter. Look for the stall under the bird's nest. You will thank me. This is your stall? Yes, mine. Many unique treasures from faraway Siwa. Not fake. Not fake. Have you got anything real? I'm sure these are not your best pieces. What do you mean? These are real. Hmm. More expensive ones at my camp. I can take you. Not far from here. You follow. Take anything you want. As I told them, I do not have any money. But I have many unique treasures from Siwa. Mother, he is not a bandit. He is my friend. Thanks for saving us. I guess you are real. Sorry I said you were fake. He saved us? We have to give him something. We always repay kindness, remember? I've got something. Here. This is a genuine imitation Siwan Kopish. It is very rare. They don't make them anymore. Please, take it with our gratitude. Mother, he already knows. Thank you. I'm honored. Yes, I can tell. This one's really real. There are almost none like it. May you multiply happy years. Priest, what has the boy done to deserve this? This has nothing to do with you. Back away. The boy will get what he deserves. I serve so bad. I serve so bad. I am a slave. Boy, what are you accused of? I was charged with ferrying two gold sobeks to Crocodilopolis. Just out of port, my ship sank by the lighthouse. I almost drowned. The statues were lost. I didn't steal them. Silence! And you, step back, Zahedi. Wait. Do not threaten me, Neb. I am a Magi. If the boy speaks the truth, I will find your gold sobex. If he lies, he is yours to deal with. Priest, I have your precious golden sobex. Your novice spoke the truth. This useless boy has been constant trouble. Many more punishments await him for his carelessness. Your priest clothing is just a mask for cowardice! God, the gods are hate masks. This has nothing to do with you, Saheti. Crawl back into your desert hole! What do I do now? The temple will not accept me. Sobek has left the fate of this gold with you. You can return to the temple or to your family. The choice is yours. May Sobek be with you. Whatever you do, do it honorably. Egypt needs priests who do not wear masks. Hey, Neb, what can you tell me about the men who fight here? Men? These are not men, they're gods. You've never seen such savage warriors. They could break you in half with one strike. Ah, do any of them have red hair? Gods among gods, have you never heard of the brothers from Gaul? Can't you feel their eyes on you? Their statues are beside me. Are you the owner here? Yes, I am the owner, Felix Martialis. Who are you? Another rough-knuckle no-name seeking fame? I only want entry to the arena. I heard you have got a fighter worth watching. With red hair? Ah, you mean the Gallic brothers. You heard right. But let me save you some time, camel boy. You cannot afford it. Now piss off before you scare away someone who can. Sir, this man wears a Magi badge. Mehmed what? I do not even care. Can you fight? You look the part, like a vicious, mangy dog. <laughs> nah, nah. I have already got an Egyptian. A huntress from Siwa, who's worth three of you. She frequents the obelisk in the East End if you want an impromptu beating. It is the only way inside this arena. Fight in the streets, and the gladiator can bring you in.
Dreieck. My friend! My brother! Oh! Ho oh, oh. ho! Shit, it's good to see you! What are you doing in Fayou? I heard this was a good place to, to prosper. Hmm? <laughs> but I never expected to find you here, Kensa. <laughs> what can I say? I heard the call of the arena! <laughs> can you believe it? I am a gladiator now. Huh? <laughs> but come, come. Let us talk. And drink. <laughs> I'm telling you, Bayek, I am so close to my dream. If only I was given the chance, I know I could become champion. I mean wealth, luxury, fame. What more could a woman want? Huh? That's why I came to Fayum, to make a new life for myself and bury the past. But I was turned away from the arena doors. <laughs> so you have finally given up trying to put the world to rights. Good. Such things are impossible. Felix is slow to trust outsiders. But do not worry. With my backing, we'll soon be fighting side by side. First, we drink. And in the morning, we can go to the arena for the proper introductions. Eh, it's good to have you here, old friend. I want this man to be my partner. As it happens, the Iberian was torn apart by lions yesterday. I may have an opening. And if Kensa vouches for you... You will need a title if you're going to team up, though. How about the Siwa Warriors? I think the Guardians of Siwa would be more fitting. Is that memorable enough for you? I have heard worse. Come inside. These are the scraps that Felix wants to throw our way. <laughs> they make a poor meal, my brother. <laughs> I'm going to slice off your balls and feed them to you. Our main obstacle to glory, the Gallic brothers. I know who they are. We are ready. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Everyone thinks they are ready till they get a fist in the face. I am starting you against a few novices. If you survive, we will talk about more. Two warriors against the odds. The crowds love unfair fights. Do not disappoint them. Or me. Victory for the Guardians of Siwa! The new darlings of the arena! Who knows how far they can go? Pairing you two toast dubbers was one of my best ideas. The crowd loves you. I told you we were destined for greatness, Felix! <laughs> Greatness! Ho oh, ho ho! Easy, easy, damsel dust might. You have a long way to go. It is a good start, but you are not contenders. You do not get to the Gallic brothers by beating a few shit-stained novices. Though, to be honest, I hope you make it. I am weary of you nagging me. What do we need to do to face them? Gods and peace, not you two! Just concentrate on the next round. For annoying me? I am adding lions this time. They have not eaten for days. You are their dinner. Find me when you are ready. We are on our way, old friend. After all this time, I might finally get my shot at the Gallic Brothers. And it's thanks to you. Hey, I would like nothing more. What about these other contracts you mentioned earlier? Oh, the righteous Bayek is willing to dirty his hands. Times have changed, Seni. I suppose it is hard to be a Magi all the time. You will have to ask Felix about those. Quietly. Felix. I've heard some gladiators are chosen for... extra work. You heard wrong. 
And if there was an arrangement, you would have much more to do to earn your way in. Your job, you upstart dog noble, is to fight. That is it. You earn your gold in a pit, or you do not earn it. Then that is what I will do. We are ready. Finally. They are asking about you too at the arena in Cyrene. Put on a good show and we all profit. The Guardians of Siwa are victorious once again! Good, the Gallic Brothers, be next! Where's Kensa? Her talents were required elsewhere today. You are going to have to win this one alone. You will be fine. Another errand for the unknown patron. Fighters who ask too many questions do not survive. It is a dangerous job. Accidents happen. I am only keen to prove myself. Then win this match. You will get your chance against the brothers. Beat them, and you will be noticed. Sorry I left you to fight alone, but I hear you did me proud. Felix said you're on a job. Who was it for? I'll tell you everything in good time, brother. Just know that our future has never looked brighter. Well, for a country cornerat, your time has come. The crowd is bored with Viridovics and Diovikos destroying opponents with ease. I am counting on you to make this entertain. One more thing do not kill anyone. I want my top four fighters alive for rematches. I have given the Gauls the same order. All right, we will not kill them. But no promises about pain and humiliation. <laughs> Here are the contenders to the crowd! The Guardians of Siwa! Undefeated! Unmatched! It's the Gallic Brothers! <laughs> Brothers are defeated! You killed the child called Shadia! That is the least you no, deserve! Light up. Uh, we didn't kill a light up. We have done many terrible things, Siwan! But the murder of the child is not one of them! All hail the new champions! We were the guardians through. of Siwa! Capture the gun and take her to Berenike! To, to the crocodile! It was she who drowned the child! Took a book from her, ordered a stone tied to her ankles, and pushed her in the water. There was nothing we could do. This is the real reason you came to me, isn't it? To uncover this patron, this crocodile. Bayek, why didn't you confide in me? Huh? I would have helped you. You're a mercenary, just no. like them. I couldn't take the chance. What fate awaits the fallen? No. Will it be life? 
Hayek. Or death. You know me better than you. Death. Hayek, you have to know! So it was Berenike. She is the crocodile. She is the one who killed Sharia. She is the one who has brought ruin to so many. She calls herself the sponsor of Fayum's prosperity and culture. And her influence is felt throughout the region. Her wealth comes from her estate north of the city. Kerkesucha Granary, the largest in all of Egypt. She has arranged a symposium with others of influence in Fayum. Every night, she retires to her villa, where she courts their favor with bribes and silvered words. Then that is where I will find her. Thank you for everything, my friend. What will you do now? I will retire to our family villa. I need a drink. Henut and I must mourn in peace. Farewell, Bayek. Once you have done what you must, we would be glad to see you again. Shania! Murdered by one of you. Shadia. Who? Shadia! She was the child you drowned! Like all of your kind, you fail to see what greatness lies in store for Egypt. Is that what you tell yourself? You do not remember those you killed. She was the child of Henut and Hotefres. Henut was a stubborn rock. That ledger would have meant the end to all our hopes. You destroyed families. <laughs> I did what had to be done. I will destroy everything you stand for, Berenike! And I will destroy all others like you! But for now, all that matters is that you killed Shadia! And the last word you will remember is her name! Shadia! Sophia Rickin hears it. My dream is to work on the Animus project. I waited 12 years. Waiting got me nowhere. So I built an Animus that lets me access anyone's memories, even ancestors not my own. I even witnessed the origins of the assassins. Artifacts, tombs that were supposed to be stuff of legends, I found them. By killing me, you've lost all this knowledge. I understand why you thought I had to die. But did you have to kill my best friend? What is she? Oh, Abiti. I should have listened to you. Sagad, <laughs> Omen! Sobek is sick! The Sutros is angry. The image of Sobek shows the god's will. What will we do? I shall heal Sobek. Continue to worship. <laughs> Larus, you are grain bag. Your days are over. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got enough left for you. <laughs> <laughs> You are slow and weak. You can barely punch. A 
Be confident. Your bones will break next time. Hello, ground. Hey! Get off him! Leave him alone! Who are you? You want some too? Okay. Come on then, hero. It is the old melon come to collect another beating. Always the disrespect. It is going to bring you bad fate one day. Youth is a state of mind. Today I have got something special for you. Oh, look! Grandpa brought a second. Come on then, pretty boy. Let us see what you've got. That was good work. A fine start. Almost worthy of the arena. What is your name, son? Bayek of Siwa. And I have already fought in the arena. Hmm, not really a fighter's name, though, is it? We will want something more memorable, like the C1 Pretty Boy. We can talk about that later. Training first. Training? Hey, listen, old man. The next fight is tonight. Let us meet at sundown, say, at the top of the lighthouse. Oh, the not-so-mighty Hilarus. Come to claim lost glory. I see the rumors are true. You've got yourself a pet lion to hide behind. It won't matter. I will beat him for the money, then I will beat you for the pleasure. Well, that was a fetching display. How would you like something steady? Just look strong and take care of any trouble. You will be well looked after. Unfortunately, I am accounted for. Would you consider a genuine arena champion? Hilarus here was a favorite of Pompey's. You are a little old, but you cut a good figure. Do you still have it in you? Do I? Madam, I am Hilarus. Youth is a state of mind. You will be more than satisfied if my charge releases me. Oh, ah. <laughs> Come then. We shall discuss the terms privately. Moment for certain. I thought the sacred crocodiles of Crocodilopolis were tame. I do not know what happened. Petsuchos has never attacked anyone before. His eyes turned red. Did you see? Is Sobek displeased with us? Nick. Even the gods turn their backs on the people. Where is Petsuchos now? Our priest Sehetep took the god back to the pool inside the temple. I have never seen him like this. Guardian of Sobek. The sickness was not an omen from the gods. Your crocodiles were poisoned, but they will recover. Poisoned? Are you sure? By whom? They will pay with their lives! Your own priest Sehetep was responsible. He's trying to increase offerings from your followers. What? Sehetep is Sobek's right hand. He will never do this. What you are saying is blasphemy. Ah, you priests. Forever holding to your superstitions. You have been told the truth. The gods themselves will judge what you do with it. Seni, forgive me. I overheard you just now. You said something about a man beast. The man beast has been taking people from here for months. People have gone missing. Have you told the Philakitai? The Philakitai are useless. Just last week, three fishermen disappeared. Bits of them floated in a few days later. They did nothing. Anyway, we know who it is. That raving old maniac over there. We're watching him. Thank the gods. Hurry, we have to leave before he comes back. Who? What is happening here? The embalmer. He's throwing people to crocodiles. His guests watch as they're ripped apart. Be calm. You are safe. Where is he now? Safe? No one is safe here. He kidnapped me at the market where I was selling fish. I'm getting out of here. I never imagined anyone could do something like this. Crocodiles are being slaughtered and mummified. The work is sloppy and careless. This is sacrilege beyond imagining. The mummies are used as coin sacks, then stacked like packages. They are using the bodies of murdered gods for smuggling. Hamun. The smell alone turns my stomach. 
Those who do this deserve death. How can this be happening in Egypt? By the gods, it must be stopped. Thank you, Magi. My life is spared, but it seems much that is good is already dead. I saw the tannery and the mummies. I know what they are doing to Sobek's children. So you have seen it? Do a Sobek, it is unthinkable. I am Padiaset. I serve in the temple south of the city. Forgive me. I must return. I need to pray for guidance. This is going to take more than prayer, priest. We need to act. The mummies had markings on them. I think they are being moved by ship. Ship? The cult has a trireme. It follows trade routes south of the city. Do what you must, Magi. I will pray for you. But please risk no more bloodshed. Why are you hiding amongst these ruins? A Magi. The gods show mercy at last. My name is Rai. And this is what's left of my family. Bandits chased us from our farms. We have nowhere else to go. We have nothing of value. Yet they've pursued us for days across this wasteland. I've seen many bandits. They are cynical and callous. They killed so many. My father, my son. Those here are all who remain of our village. The bandits will come again to finish us. Stand with us, Mejai. Help us get vengeance at least. Vengeance is my creed. I will help you. Tell me your plan. Okay. Enough of the view. We have to plan. Wherever the bandits come from, my brothers will be ready for them in the ruins. I'll stay up here and keep watch. When they show, I'll give a signal. Then I'll attack from behind. I mean no disrespect, Rai. But you are not soldiers. These bandits are killers. Your farmer friends may not walk away from this fight. I know, Bayek. I'm scared out of my mind. If your family died in your arms, you would understand. I cannot walk away now. Believe me, I do understand. And I will fight with you. For now, I will head back to the others. Magi, you've returned! Yes, your sister is staying on the cliff. She will signal when the bandits approach. These ruins are narrow. It could be worthwhile setting traps. Fire and oil, perhaps. Uh, do you have supplies? Fire? A, a fine idea. Yes, we do. They're nearby. Good. Head up to that roof and keep watch. I will join you soon. I am ready. Then we wait and pray. Good head up. We did it! But there are more of them out there, and they will return. They were after Father's bow. What? All this just for an old bow? God's why? It doesn't make sense. I would have given it to them. Maybe we still can. They would have killed you anyway. There is only one way to stop men like this. I have to hunt down their leader. I saw them come in from the southeast. They could be camping in the foothills nearby. Then that is where I will begin my search. Bayek, before you go, please, take the bow. We'll be safer if you have it. It was damaged in the fighting, and it only brings me sadness now anyway. I'm sure it still has some power. You honor me, Rai. Magi, you are late. Sehetep's men came to kill me. So I see. Not bad for a priest to abhor bloodshed. I was not always a priest. I thought I had escaped all this. Sehetep and I found faith together, joined the temple together. I knew his struggle, just as I did. But I have to stop him now. You cannot be seen to move against him. Not if the cult is to survive. A priest killing a priest looks bad. I should do this. You are right. You will find him at the Northern Temple. I will meet you outside. Sehetep chose death. Then it had to be. I lost a brother today. If I had acted sooner, he might have been restored. Faith cannot be passive. This is my lesson. We will rebuild what has been damaged. But what of the soldiers? They had a hand in all this. They will always meddle. But stay strong. They know now not to mess with the temple. Sobek has warriors too. You honor me, Magi. May Sobek honor you. Otifres, what is going on? My friend, you came. <laughs> I am glad. Who is this? Where is Renut? My wife is... 
Wherever she goes. Withdrawn and cold. This is, uh, Yesterday. She was just leaving. You are a pig. I was bored anyway. Thanks for the wine. Helot is probably down at the lake. I will take you to her. Let me know when you are ready to go. This is how she is now. <laughs> there is something that might help. In Siwa, we have a ritual to mark a loved one's passing. Would you mind? Go ahead. The ritual requires something. I will return shortly. You'll do what you're told, you lazy shit. If you need more grain, grow more. It's not my problem. Captain! Henut, no! We can't! I know you are not extorting grain from this farmer. Because you know that would be violating several Egyptian laws. As officials of Fayum, we both know it. Don't we? I will see you soon. Official. You live! They'd marked Henut for death. Death found them fast. I envy them. Well, it had to be done. These soldiers do not seem to understand anything else. There's more. The captain was under orders. I found this insignia on him. Do you know it? Yes. This is not good. It is from Fort Bubastos to the east. Run by another Malakia who thinks himself untouchable. <sighs> Henut was right. People will continue to suffer unless we act. Bayek, I am sorry to ask this. We need your help. You have it. There's something I must do fast, though. I will return soon. Shadia, my lotus. No other will suffer as you did. I swear it. Goodbye, my little tadpole. Swim forever free. There you are. It is time to rise up against the soldiers. Hotefres will fight with you. Hotefres? He abandoned us long ago. His father was a good man. He gave his son an Egyptian name. We loved him for that. But he could not give him an Egyptian heart. Hotefres means satisfied in our tongue. But he never was. He soon left us to the hyenas and crocodiles. Yet crocodiles may still be defeated. The captain is no more. Rise, Seni. Spread the word. You defeated the captain? Wow. You are a madman. Okay. If you are willing to do this, I will join you. I will spread the word, Seni. I did not know things were this bad. I mean, I knew there was trouble, just not like this. This is my fault. I did not want the responsibility here in Fayum. The inheritance was forced on me. I wanted to stay on my ship, the adventure. Now, I realize. Giving up is a choice. And I am still alive. They must be in the villa. Take the back. You, come with me. Soldiers! Hey, 
say you fight well for someone retired. <laughs> I am not old yet, C1. I can see that. But it will not be enough. The soldiers will come in greater numbers now. I inherited more than a strong sword arm. I will hire a private army if I need to. I might have a better idea. Bayek, could you accompany me on a short journey? I am Henut. I sent word from Philadelphia that we were coming. We need your help. You wasted your time. Sorry, we cannot help you. We are not asking for charity. We can offer food, supplies, and information. All we require in return is protection for our people. I said we cannot help. Soldiers captured our leader down at the dam. Then perhaps we can help you. This is Bayek of Siwa. You are Bayek of Siwa? We were told what you did at the arena. Beating the Gallic brothers like a madman. And I suppose today I play the madman again. The way back from here is clear. Before you go, I need a favor. Henut is waiting at your camp. She will ask for your help to protect her people. I owe you my life. You have my word it will be done. Could you also tell her I go to Fort Bubastos? I have business with the commander there. Alone against a fortified garrison? Are you crazy? Perhaps. I am Bayek of Siwa. It is done. You had help. The farmers staged a protest to distract the soldiers. They were fearless. The rebels also did their part. You've inspired them, Bayek. In truth, they are in awe of you. Our farms will be well protected. They love their crazy sea one. They won't let another crocodile plague the Fayum again. Your people are free now. It is a good start. Otifres, it is time to live up to your name. And my duty as a husband. Shadia liked you immediately, you know. You always have a home here, if you need it. Ah, look who has returned. Bayek of Siwa. Perfect that you have met us in Heraklion. City of wine, women, whatever a magi like you desires. And deserves. Ah, to the queen. Bayek, you arrive at an opportune time. Cleopatra, I'm still looking for the men who killed my son. The order is neutralized. Was my hunt for me or for you? I have two more names. The order can't be... And how many more names after that? As many as it takes. I wish to bring my son to the afterlife where he belongs, not... Ah, I like you, Cleopatra. But the royal matters that seduced my wife do not sway me so. What does the badge mean to you? Have you forgotten? This badge means more to you than it does to me. This is not one man we are fighting. Nothing ends simply. Aya has understood that you have a new reality. I am your pharaoh. You are Magi to all of Egypt. Follow me. We have a gift. Just kill me already, you coward! Oh! Here is your gift. He is in the order of ancients like Septimius. We found him snooping around the villa. We think he knows who killed your son. Right. My brother Septimius killed your son, and I don't give a shit! Shit giving is my job. I just fucked those twins up! Then it's over! Enough for you. 
I will press him for more information. I suggest uh, you visit the brothel in town. Yes. Go dig through this Dionysian town and unearth the plot against us. Ah, a true warrior. I have a discount for... Wait. You're not with the Cabinianis, are you? No, I am not. I am a Magi. Whoa. Magis used to come here all the time, but not recently. Who do you work for, then? Cleopatra. I heard she was in town. Well, a Magi working for his pharaoh. You must have gold to burn. I would like to speak with your legendary twins. Speaking is what you call it. I suppose we all have our thing. The twins are going to cost you if you want to speak or anything else with them, Magi. Make yourself comfortable upstairs. The twins will come for you. They had a rough night yesterday, so don't speak too hard with them, hmm? You wanted to speak to us? I'm looking for a Gabagnani named Venator. Shh! Do not say that name! He's a naked Iadet. I won't hold my tongue for that monster. Everyone is scared of him, but you should kill him. He's staying at the top of the square. He won't be staying anywhere ever again. My gods. A crafty plan. One of the men is posing as a woman. Must be to infiltrate the palace. Posing as wine merchants. They will dock and set a fire to cause a panic. With an archer ready to pick off the queen in the confusion. Somewhere high. Venator. More than just one of Septimius' dogs. You have your own puppets within the Order. I have to find them before they strike. Baek! <laughs> ah, you smell of the sea. The high seas have taken me for some time, but now I'm yours. Move! Hey, old man. Oh, are you injured? Just a flesh wound. <laughs> I... I am fine. Nothing hurts anymore. My mind is a riot. All I have is that I am pushed further. One more attempt to snuff me out. My queen, rest and remember I do that... not need rest. This civil war is no closer to ending. I need a fucking throne. My throne rots in the hands of my brother. Instruct Foxidus to prepare ship. We head to meet Pompey. My last resort. You two go ahead and tell him we're coming. Yes, my queen. Bayek, if we don't get to Pompey first, Septimius might. Ah, Septimius has beat us. Funny how all great men are reduced to food for maggots. This is a cemetery for our ambitions. No, no, it can't be. Where is Caesar? He has arrived in Alexandria. He is heavily guarded, so there's... Bring me to him. I will get to Caesar if I have to drag myself through the sewers of the palace. Forewarning, Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the queen on her throne. Or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. <laughs> <laughs> I 
My loyal shield boy! Are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. Raya. She is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Aya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. The air stinks, but not the Vorsmen. It's something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there, at the water. Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we're done! <laughs> Attacking Stormwood! Oh, we are not dead! Ptolemy's Malachi are not dead yet! Get out of the ring boats! Use the fog to hide your escape! But I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. <laughs> Free you fool! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm then. Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps a queen's entrance is unnecessary. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. But you are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <clears throat> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! My wretched brother. He's let the wine go to vinegar, and my kingdom to pieces. Great lady, your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bothinus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You proved your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Magi's.
Dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> it is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. This is a tighter squeeze than the cave west of Siwa. We were smaller in those days. is holding. The markings. Ever since I was a boy, I've idolized this man. He is similar to you. I wept at the base of his statue in Rome. At 30, he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world. What have I done with my five long decades here on Earth? It me do you vent? Together we can do more than Alexander did. Yes. How long before the Queen stops impressing Caesar and starts impressing us? Our needs are hers as well. She will deliver. My Caesar, our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Captured? Is this Ptolemy's diplomacy? I will send my guard. Greek soldiers will pass more freely through the city than Romans. Let us settle this matter, my queen. Flavius, come. Look. We have found the great king. We need to alert Caesar. What happened to you? Septimians. They are preparing a siege of the harbor. They want to take the palace. I will not betray Caesar! How many more heads must I chop off before Caesar understands? This is futile. Change of plans. The lion says we must march on the Pharos and trap the queen. Then they said they left for. Where? Where? You have loyal men, Caesar. Septimius plans on trapping you in the palace. You have no time. As I foresaw, war. Levius, they want fire. Let us burn the whole damn harbor. And if we change the Pharos light, the rest of the fleet will know what to do. We will join them by chariot. Salve, Lord Caesar. I will make the order. My queen, you should accompany me into battle. As these soldiers rip each other apart, I shall stay on my throne. I am queen until a sword plunges through my heart. And even then, my blood will stay on my throne. Good then. I stay. My life is yours to do with as you will.
Now, the most crucial part of the plan. Put this into the brazier of the Pharos. She will accompany me through the city. Now, let havoc reign. Aya, if you find my brother, Ginestoi. I smell war! <laughs> we will put our queen on the throne. You are the only queen worthy of the throne! <laughs> <sighs> Give me the powder. Caesar thinks a woman cannot do this job. Proof is a wrong, my love. Ptolemy's men are breaking through our line. No. Wait until I see the signal. I can't believe you trusted a woman to do something of such importance. How are the fleet to receive their orders? Patience, Caesar. The die is cast. <laughs> Come. We go to the battlefield. Red Jai, cover the retreat. Many men have died to die. All have found themselves dead by her blade. Hi! 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 There! It's the fleet! Uh, I have nothing left to throw! Any time, Bayek! of us, Bayek. Now, we must join the ships. We will be heroes, sword and mind. Stadia. According to our speculators, Potinus leads the charge. Keep the soldiers distracted, Caesar. I will handle Potinus and Victoria! Your role in that insane order comes to an end, Potinus. Face your judgment. They went too far in Siba. I knew it then. But I just wanted peace for Egypt. Your peace leaves many wanting. This is inevitable. A good rule always does. My apologies, Bayek of Siwa. My fee is covered, it seems. Now may I go to my glory. There is no glory left in Egypt. Damned eunuch is no more. 
Good. The Speculatores found Septimius. He is in the village beyond. I will distract his men while you capture him. We must know what he plans. You would think your spies would already know. They have their limits. But they claim Aya has the scent of that puppet king. So they also have their uses. Then Ptolemy is already caught. I will finish the rest. Ah! The fool finally comes. You will see your god soon. Did you miss me? Stop, Bayek! Septimius is Roman. We will deal with him under our laws. He killed my son! Everything for which we have worked for so long is now ours. We have defeated our enemies. Only I can lead Egypt into a new era of prosperity. Done with Septimius Count. We are banned from the palace. I do not begrudge the venom in your eyes, but listen for a moment. Speak quickly, or you will find yourself at the wrong end of my blade. Your services are no longer needed. Cleopatra has granted you gold. I am sorry, Aya. Sorry? We gave her everything. We gave her that damn crown, and she stands next to him. And where is justice for us? Septimius was supposed to be judged by Rome. Is Caesar protecting the order? There are compromises to make a queen of Cleopatra. The man who killed our son is your ally. We are going to do whatever it takes to kill him. You realize? Look, Caesar blames you for the death of Ptolemy. A pharaoh, a god, by I, I cannot change this. Be damned what Caesar thinks. It is with Cleopatra that I made the pact. Give me time, Aya. I will ease this for us. Until then, I beg you, be careful. Not everything is as it seems. Ah! Traitor! With all my words, I have nothing to say now. Cleopatra has been poisoned by Rome, and we by her treachery. We will burn with Egypt. The order is stronger now. They have Rome. Please, I will deal with this. Hold on, hold on. I was wrong. I am responsible. When my boy died, 
I fought back with rage and anger. But this only made them stronger. We are all different. But we fought together to put Cleopatra on the throne. Now this was a mistake, my friends. But at least it brought us together. Now our enemies are hidden behind crowns. Walking in the shadows of kings and queens. Who are the ones that walk in the shadows for the people? We are. Something has come of all of this. And it starts right now. We must continue the fight and defend the free will of the people. And no matter how small, our brotherhood is the only hope. And our kingdom needs no crowns. What we believe in, our values, our creed, will unify us. And I promise that for all the songs of Egypt, I will be the father I was not that day in Siwa. To the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood! You were right. I trusted the wrong goddess. There's a question that yet lingers. Septimius. He took Alexander's staff. Why? Indeed. He and Flavius had too much interest in Alexander's tomb. We start there. Stop your flailing. You will live, fool. Flavius was behind the door. I I'm sorry. Flavius killed your son. They were here. They took the orb from me. They've gone to Siwa. Siwa? Bayek, Aya. Your people are in danger? God, now! To the house of Hades. themselves. Here's the story of mankind. Bayek. Bayek. It is Hepsifa. My Sammy. Your life is done here in the desert dust. They took my closest friend. We must rush to stop Flavius. No! We cannot leave him here. He deserves a proper farewell. the temple vault. Septimius and Flavius. The objects they carried opened it as if by a god's hand. And so they tried to stop them. But they rendered me helpless. They entered the vault. A blue fire seemed to emerge. I fled to no avail. The entire village Lost his reason and fell to the ground like dogs. They have destroyed Siwa. They must die. You must put an end to this. Bayek, Aya. 
You have the prayers of the entire village to support you. Let us bring Hepzibah to his rest. Then, we will seek justice! Let the embalmers come. We pray Anubis accept this ornament in place of his heart, such that Hepzibah may walk free in the field of reeds. Bayek, Hepzibah would have wanted you to have this. The weapon he prized above all others. I am honored. Some villagers captured a Roman soldier and questioned him. Flavius is headed for Cyrene, and Septimius for Alexandria. I will kill Flavius. Hmm. There's a farm at the border of Cyrene. Someone there may have seen Flavius pass through. As for me, I will cut out the heart of Septimius. I feel as though wherever we go, tragedy follows. Perhaps we should come to terms. It is hard. I don't want to let go, but... Every time I think of you, I think of Hemu and everything we lost. Me too. So for now, we kill. Farewell, Aya. I'm sorry. It is just... he was such a gentle soul. Once had me treat a wounded dog he had caught in a snare. Why would he do this? I have seen this before. In Siwa. I'm looking for the soul eater responsible. Flavius. The proconsul? That sack of rancid goat shit murdered my son, raised my village, and now marches through your land with the light of a Munra. Come. Let us search the farm. Look for survivors. I am Bayakusiwa. Braxila, of this land gone mad. Nanette? Are you all right? What happened here? Red cloaks and that milk soup with the lion's head. Took anyone who could work. Farm hands, my son Kade, everyone. Then he came. Dark eyes hooded as a raven. I wanted to throw stones to shoo him off. Something golden, bright in his claws. Held it up, crowing as they fell before him. Some by their own hands, others by those dearest to them. Against nature, everyone crying, screaming, running, dying. How did you es- No one sees Poon in it. An old woman's husk with clouded eyes. But I saw them. Didn't cry out. Bit my tongue till I choked on the blood. The men who did this? We will find them. Better hurry, girl. Raven flew north to the home of the Huntress. Overheard Red Cloak squawking. Bring Kade back to me. I will try. Flavius also robbed me of my boy. Let us bring Nenet to my cart. When you arrive in Cyrene, look for my friend Diocles. I would trust him with my life and yours. As a magistrate, he hears petitioners in the Agora. Give him this. I hope this heals the madness in this land. I pray you get the justice you seek, Bayek. Why would they take Nenet's son, Kade? The citadel casts a long shadow over Cyrenaica. There are rumors that General Agrippa and Flavius are preparing for war. Against Egypt. Do you doubt their ambition? No. They won't stop until I stop them. I will bring Nenet to my clinic in Balagrei, south of the temple of Asclepius. Though that place has troubles enough. I will find you if I can. The farm you came from. I saw what Flavius did. 
I will suck the life from our people. My mother, Nenet. Is she all right? Yes. Praxila took her to Balagre. Thank you, Bayek. You protect us even this far from the land of our ancestors. Why did the Romans bring you here? To feed their hunger for war and conquest. They have Ballista. We load it with a substance of hideous, burning devastation. Vitruvios, a Roman engineer up at the aqueduct, invented it. Then I will find this merchant of death. Go to your mother. She'll be glad to see you safe. Huh. Maybe the lash will loosen your tongue. Enough! My workers are not to blame. Send me some soldiers with half a brain or we'll never find my diopter. General Agrippa will hear of this. A Roman, standing up for Egyptians. Pathetic. Tell Agrippa I need real soldiers who will help me find these thieves. I'll scuttle back to your wine, you sacks of uselessness. Are you the one responsible for working my people to death? Your people? They are my people. I'm keeping them alive in the face of increasingly bad odds. But who are you, my Egyptian friend? Bayek of Siwa, protector of these people. Well, Bayek of Siwa, I am Vitruvius, and contrary to popular belief, not all Romans are your enemy. If you would help your people, then help me. Our tools have been stolen. My surveying tool, the Dioptra, specifically. Without it, construction has stalled on the aqueduct. The General's idiots believe my workers are to blame. Maybe I can look for this Dioptra. With it, this elevated river would flow into the farms of Cyrenaica. Talk to Dady up at the construction site. He used it last. Fortuna go with you, Bayek of Siwa. Calm down. I won't hurt you. Just tell me where the Dioptra is. It was lunchtime, and my wife brought me a fresh roasted chicken leg for lunch. Which was nice, as it has been an eon since I had... Sounds delicious, but get to the part about the master's tool. Your lunch won't solve this crime. Oh, uh, I see. Well, I left the diotra in the cave, and when I came back it was gone. Scobbled away by wolves, spirits, or worse. What does this diotra look like? Like a brazier, made of three parts. A bit you see through, a bit you measure with. I will find it. Just try not to die of fright before then. But you have it? You have my diopter? I found it in a bandit camp above the aqueduct. Really? Some of my workers complained of hearing whispers from there, believed it was haunted. I was sure it was just superstitious nonsense. I dealt with it. Nothing will haunt you now, living or dead. Excellent. And now General Agrippa has no more reason to bully my workers. He's become more ambitious since Flavius returned from Siwa, and it is not a welcome change. Thank you, Bayek. You saved my... our people's lives. I am in your debt. Fortuna, smile on you, Vitruvius. Your work will help a lot of people in Cyrenica. Curse my pride! I should have burned my notes. General Agrippa must have found them. Then Agrippa must be stopped. Do what your conscience dictates, Bayek. But understand, I cannot be part of a plot against a Roman general, no matter how I may feel personally. Recover the formula and I will destroy it. I will not have the immolation of Egypt on my conscience. Jove protect you, Bayek. Bayek, did you find it? Did you find my formula? Egypt will not burn today. Or any day, I hope. And General Agrippa? He did not give it up willingly. Ah, uh, he was a good Roman. But he never understood that doesn't mean you cannot be a good man. Flavius fed Agrippa's pride and ambition with talk of empires. I fear the path his supporters have taken will end in many deaths. It will end with their own. But you are a good man, Vitruvius. I've seen that in your words and deeds. I am trying to be. Thank you again, Bayek of Siva. You are a true protector of your people. Are you happy, beloved? I know why you're here, Magi. 
He's dead, isn't he, Hapti? I am sorry. There was a rebellion at the quarry, he... No, I don't want to know. He was always so hot-headed. How could he leave us this way? I found his bracelet. He meant for you to have it. What good is a bracelet? My child will grow up without a father. Thank you for telling me. You are a good man. But please, leave me alone to my grief. I'm just another woman the Romans have made a widow. This is the war no one speaks of. Who was he? Neff. The children called him father. This is his house. This is his house. You are injured. I don't give a shit. The Roman hag who did this leaves by boat for Alexandria today. Help me feed her to the crocodiles one piece at a time. I can go alone. No need for you to bloody yourself, father. It has to be me. Is your need worth leaving the children unprotected? Destroy her name by Yekaf Siwa. Enough! Fine, you can carry on, but remember we have the girl. Any further trouble and she disappears. Do you need help? A Magi. I am Merit Ma'at, the village leader. Ah, do not worry about them. They are just middle men for Ptolemy's soldiers. I have an understanding with their commander. Opium and honey for protection of the village. He is the one we have to worry about. <laughs> Sounds like they took a hostage. Ha! Huh. Just like the Medjai of old. If you want to be a hero, they took her to the nearby military camp. If she still lives, you will find her there. I will return with her soon, Merit Ma'at. And then you can decide if I am a hero. Are you okay? You were drugged. Yes. Thank you. I... Gods! The commander was going to put me on the next opium shipment. Send me somewhere. Far away. The commander? Do you know where he is? I think he left the camp on a ship. That's all I remember. I'm sorry. All right. Go and show yourself to Merit Ma'at. Do not let any soldiers see you. Medjai, I heard you freed the girl. The commander was not at the camp, but we should deal with him. Tell me everything you know. The local soldiers and middlemen I can deal with. But the commander, he is vicious. A murderer. I dare not confront him. Years ago he took another hostage. My own daughter. There was no Medjai to save us then. He killed her to assure our compliance. For the village's sake, I did nothing. I've got an idea how to get to him. The shipments of opium go along the river. I will follow them, find him, and end your agreement. Then may Horus guide your blade, Medjai. Sink it deep. Do not be merciful. The commander is guilty as set. Greetings, Nebet. Are you the commander's daughter? I am. May I help you? I am the bearer of strange news. But you must believe me. Your mother still lives. My mother? I was abandoned as a child. How could that be? Who are you? I have something here you should read. Take your time. Decide what to do. Your mother is at Keaka, to the south. She misses you. If you do return to her, tell her that her Medjai friend fulfilled his heroic task. Are you Theodorus's man? Yes. And who are you? He is the Siwan. I come on his behalf. He'll be joining us shortly with instructions. Good. The soldiers are reeling. But it won't be long before reinforcements arrive. Come. Theodorus! 
Ready your blades and check your arrows. The Rathos will be back at the camp before sunrise. You're with me. But don't forget, he is mine. What is your stake in this? This is more about him than it is about your war. My father grew figs in the Fayum. The best. The Rathos taxed him. An Egyptian has no choice but to pay. One season, the harvest was so poor that my father struggled to give his cut. Teratos figured him for a cheat. He took a bite of fruit to prove his point. He got a mouthful of worms. His men laughed. But Teratos was furious. I watched as my father was hanged from his own tree and picked at by every animal in the region. Teratos embodies the unjust. He is why I am who I am. I need you, Bayek. Tririm! The gods have brought us together for this! Justice will be served today! You'll remember now, huh? May the field re-delude you always. <laughs> Glory to Theodorus! How is our brave widow? Good, as you can see. Small victories and joys like these, we take them where we can. Bayek, Flavius was here. But that is not the worst of it. Mothers and wives of the temple are sick and wailing in the streets. They're pleased to see their loved ones unanswered. Since Flavius came, it cannot be a coincidence. No. Can you speak to my friend Krios? He is a water bearer at the temple. My task is the priestess Melita. She is overzealous, but I cannot believe she would prey on the sick and dying. Be wary, eh? I will return here when I have spoken to Krios. Wake up! Where is Flavius? Where is he? Fly away home, crow! All right, all right. Just keep your voice down. Is he left to speak to the priestess? No! The priestess! A ah, snake in the apple! She has them. She keeps them hidden. Lies in whispers. Secrets. Shrouded. Her shrine of whispers! Is this poor witless thing you're doing? Did Praxilla tell you where she was going? The mountains. But... Look to this man. He needs help. I will find the shrine of whispers. Melita could not be saved. After what she did, I would have slit her throat myself. Thank you. For me, for Balagre, it is more than I would have asked. And that is why I give it freely, while freedom still means something. Don't you ever get sick of saying so many goodbyes? Part of me, yes. But it is part of the journey, and on it, I find those who give me hope. Your land will not die, Praxila. You are its healer, its protector, its Medjai. Now is our time to emerge from the madness, Bayek of Siwa. Came back from Balagre with a crook up his arse. Demanded my taxes for the year. They burned my farm when I refused. And you are sure it was Leander's men? My wife said no good would come of defying him. I hate it when she's right. Leander will pay. You have my word. Your word, Diocles? Will not sow my scorched fields? Bring my goats back to life. I am done with you. End this land. Your word. <laughs> and how has our most venerated magistrate extorted you, Egyptian? Praxila said you could help me. I am Bayek. Is he all right? As well as anyone can be with Flavius desecrating your land. I followed that fucker's murderous trail all the way from Siwa. So the rumors? True. 
as are his preparations for war. One more oppressor. Egypt will never be stable again. Invasions upon invasions. Flavius will make of Egypt one giant tomb. He rules from the Acropolis, but is crawling with Romans. I pray the dice fall in your favor, Bayek. I must deal with this lapdog, the magistrate Leander. Seek me out again, if you would be a friend to Cyrene. Thank you, Diocles. It is time for my son to enter the field of reeds. Do you think I can't feel you skulking in the shadows, Bayek of Siwa? I have followed your path of murder and madness all the way from my homeland. And now, you will answer for my son's death, Roman! No, Egyptian. Now you will bow before your god! He was a child, Flavius. My child! No, that's the one thing I do not regret in my life. I will never give you peace! Your son's death made the order bow to me! Caesar, even. I had Rome! It gave me an empire of a thousand sons, each one greater than the last. Ah! Come on! Finish me! You coward! The waste of time! I can't do it! I can't! I can't do it! It's all right, Papa. No. I will, I will lose you forever. Not forever. I will be waiting for you in the field of reeds. Bayek. It has been too long. Flavius is dead. I have gone through shit to get our son out of the Duat. Him was at peace. May he walk in the field of reeds. I head to Rome to... Rome? You still entertain fully with these ambitions? I have made mistakes. You have made mistakes. Aya? You waste your energy. Ah. You are the famous Magi. Thanos never ceases to speak of your exploits. I have assembled a group. This is Brutus and Cassius, our Roman brothers. We're going to cut these bastards down from across the seas. Septimius and Caesar. The order is no longer an Egyptian problem only. Does Cleopatra still rule? There is no ruler in Egypt. Plunged into the will of various tyrants. Our queen has abandoned us for Rome. Nothing has changed here. Memphis is overrun by the Order. Aya, we need you. Our victories have multiplied, our bond not so. We could never have been. Everything has told us our love is impossible. You are right. Something bigger has called us. But our love lives in the Duat. Only now we are letting go. Let the gods decide. The gods are dead. We must sacrifice our personal lives for the greater good. All this darkness was for a reason. I was wrong to be so reckless in public without killing. We must work in the shadows. 
Egypt has fallen. Greece also. And Rome will fall too. All will fall to the creed, yet no one will know. When we assassinate, we assassinate only those who deserve it. The few sick souls who try to control us. But they will never know who we are. Cold, calculated, poets of the kill. I am fine with this. I am not a father anymore. I am not a husband. I am not a Medjay. I am a hidden one. Yes. We are the hidden ones. We sharpen our blades. Pull what hope is left from this foul earth. What are you of now? A new creed. Ours is finished. Those don't need to be your last words. Who the fuck are you? Does the name William Miles ring a bell? Assassin? Then you know who I am. We, the Assassins, have been watching you. It's unusual for an Abstergo employee to take an interest in a country's revolution. You're not wrong there. We know about your work with the Animus. Astounding what you and Deanna were up to. D. They played you, didn't they? Sophia Ricken made you so many promises. Enough! We're not talking about her. Sure. Plenty of other subjects to cover on our ride to Alexandria. Don't assume I'm going anywhere with you. Well, let's look at your options. You can come with me, or you can stay here and do the dance of death again and again until you make a mistake. They only need you to make one. There's no going back to your old life, Layla. I never planned to. But you'd finally be able to work on the Animus project. Our version of it. And with us, you'd always have the freedom to do things your way. Fine. Let's do this. That doesn't mean I'm on your side. Good enough. Is that for Foxy does? A gift? No. It's a relic. I don't want to talk about it, Damastis. Isn't that Bayek's? Let me have it. I'll give it to Foxy Das myself. He loves these things. I'll kill you. How about that? I'm in no mood for compromise today. We passed Neopolis in the crack of morning. With strong wind, you'll be standing in Rome's forum in uh, two days' time. It's over between you and Bayek, eh? I can feel... No decision is easy. You are a chosen one. And now you are free! <laughs> like me! So begins a new day.
place that fighter ships upon us! Gods. Let it rain! Damn you demons and Jesse! Hey, you slackers! Form up with the rest! Today, we sail together! What port are you taking us to? There's a town called Antium I'd like to try. Lots of merchants sail in and out of there. Should be safe for you. From there, it's a half day's ride to Rome. It is only a matter of days before Caesar will officially become a tyrant. There he is. The people love you, Caesar. You're a god. The Senate will not bow so easily. That parliament of clucking hands. Let me be your wolf. Go. Do nothing until I give this enough. My son's heart, for your life. Was revenge everything you hoped? You and the Magi shall drench the sheets with your sweat tonight. <laughs> this stuff. With the order, I served them and your beloved Egypt. And I'll be rewarded in the afterlife. An eternity. Drinking and whoring with my brothers. The only thing that waits for you is oblivion. For your name, your order, and the rotting corpses of your Cavignani. Up and devour your fetid heart. You are free now! Do I know you? You who strikes from the shadows. The same fate will come to all despots. In the end... It is impossible not to become what others believe you are. And I was a god! There is a new creed now. Yeah! Rome is eternal! She will never fall to you or your kind. Freedom is not given, Caesar. Requiescat in pace, Caesar. Do you know what you've done? 
Cesarian would have sat on the throne of Rome. Listen to the cries in the streets. They call you a dead tyrant's whore. I am still your queen. You are a queen of liars and snakes. I fought for you for five years. Our people worshipped you. Apollodorus died for you, for Egypt. For Egypt? I am Egypt! Then be the ruler our people deserve. Or nothing will save you from my blade across your throat. You are the last of the pharaohs. Bayek, Caesar has been assassinated. Septimius is also dead. I have founded a bureau in the middle of Rome. Yet, no one knows of our existence. Like Amun, we are the Hidden Ones. I believe in you. The irony of freedom. We are free of each other, yet it brings me no happiness. We must move forward. Remain in our tempest of blood poetry. Despite it all, we dance, and they die. From darkness we have come, and in darkness we shall stay. Humans are not meant to last forever. But this creed will. The creed is the only immortal thing in the world. Go home. You're free. I don't want to go home by myself. I'm scared. Should we take him to the Bureau? No. I'll take you home. Let nothing grieve you beyond measure. For your life is short and time will claim its toll. But I am no longer who I was. I have renounced all love I once had. I have renounced Aya. I have killed Aya. I am now the Hidden One, known as Amunet. Your victories multiply.